Ground ball up the left side. Pass, roll in. One will score. It's in the gap. It gets by the outfielders. Jordheim goes back. Two will score. Here's a throw down to third. Not in time as Welsh. Ivy throws it back in. We'll see if the relay comes home. It does not. It's an RBI single. Called strike three. Halston Telephone Company and r and Broadcasting Incorporated is proud to present to you this broadcast on yourliveevent.com. And a very good Tuesday afternoon from Hillsboro. This is Region 2 Baseball today, the fourth contest of the season for the visiting Thompson Tommies and the home and season opener here for the Hillsboro Central Valley Burrows. I'm Chase Miller alongside Joey Hughes. Thanks so much for tuning in. And this is our Irie Insurance pregame show. For more information, you can go online to irieins.com. That again is irieins.com between the Burrows and the Thompson Tommies. For Thompson wins so far this season, at Shiloh Christian over Washburn Wilton Center Stanton 3 Love and an 8 0 defeat of the Bearcats of North Star. And then on April the 18th, their last game, a 4 1 win over Hat Northwood and Crookston. So for Thompson, this is their first game in the Red River Valley in their own backyard, even though this was scheduled to be in Thompson. But with the field up in Thompson not quite playable yet, they said, hey, you know what? If this field is fine in Hillsboro, let's get a contest in, which is what they're doing here today. For the Hillsboro Central Valley Burroughs, head coach by Benjamin Strand here. Again, their first uh, game of the season, their game at Northern Cass was canceled yesterday. They have a game scheduled for Thursday against Laramore and then May the 2nd. Ain't Maple River. Any contest moving forward this week, depending on where you're at in the Red River Valley, really depends on the moisture, precipitation. Will you get some snow? Will you get some rain? And what time does that kind of happen right now? Good news is high 40s into low 50s. It's really a gorgeous day, all things considered, for uh, the latter part of April right now here in Hillsboro. And the nice thing is we're able to get a baseball game on here today and also a softball game going on in Hillsboro. That'll be with Keith Meyer on the call between HCV and the Northern Cass Jaguars first pitch at 4 o'clock in that Region 1 softball contest. We'll take a quick break as they're taking some infield here for the Thompson Tommies. First things first, we'll get to our coaches' conversation. We'll hear from Benjamin Strand next for Hillsboro Central Valley. Then we'll hear from the Thompson Tommies head coach in Nate Solis. That's all coming up around the corner. It's our Irie Insurance pregame show here on YourLiveEvent.com. Uh 2023 Gleaner Combines are on the lot at Ziegler Ag Equipment, Highway 9 North Ada. Contact Chuck O'Neill to get on the list of names for fall demo work. Call 218-784-2961 and get your farm on the list so Gleaner Combines demonstrations can take place during harvest on your farm. These are Class 7 and Class 8 Gleaner Combines. Now here at Ziegler Ag Equipment Ada. It's cleaner with Gleaner. Talk to Chuck O'Neill for more details. Ziegler Ag Equipment, Highway 9 North Ada. Halstead Telephone knows we all like choices. You can choose to have communication and the data services up to 1 gigabit over a reliable, state-of-the-art fiber optic network. And you can choose to have the same great services available town or country with local service and support. You can choose to have an individual service or bundle. You can choose to avoid tricky promotional pricing. You can choose unlimited data. The choice seems clear. Choose Halstead Telephone Broadband Voice TV. 1-800-457-2125. This is Chris from RDK Enterprises, your local precision planting dealer. Say thank you to the farmers you come into contact with every day. They have chosen a career that is as much their deep passion as it is an absolute necessity for you and I. Spring is upon us and there will be farm equipment on the roads. Give them your patience and room to do their jobs. Trust me, they would rather be off the road working in their field than dealing with traffic. From all of us here at RDK Enterprises, we say thank you and have a safe spring. As we continue on our Irie Insurance pregame show here today from Hillsboro, it's the Hillsboro Central Valley Burroughs going up against the Thompson Tommies. Join us now from HCV. That is Benjamin Strand. And, uh, Coach, got to be nice to finally get out and on the ball diamond. I know, like, everybody on this side of the state been waiting, chomping at the bit to actually get and play some games. But what does it feel like to finally get out on some, you know, semi-green grass in a, in a good field and not have to worry about puddles or rain or snow a little bit? Yeah, 21 practices inside. <laughs> We're finally able to get. We've only had two practices outside, so... Um, if you'd have told me Sunday that we'd be out here playing, I probably would have said no. But um, you know, things hopefully turning around for the rest of the year, and I know the boys are excited. 
and hopefully you get a number of games and that's what the schedule is going to be the next couple of weeks is multiple games in a short amount of time who are going to be some players as this season hopefully continues to get to five games get to 10 games in the regular season benjamin who will be some guys that you'll be relying on here for hcb and we're, we're going to lean a lot on our, our four seniors uh cole hebel and andrew dulam are returning they've they've put a lot of got a lot of playing time in the last few years for us and we're going to lean on them um, Caleb Haddleston and Gavin Blyles are, are seniors who have gotten a little bit of time, and now we're going to lean on them quite a bit too. Um, the rest of our lineup is is played sparingly or not at all yet varsity level, so um, we're going to really lean on those guys to be leaders, um, to to take charge and and you know take care of business. What makes Thompson, whether it's the first game of the season or in the Region Two tournament, a team that obviously the defending state champs, just like every other team, uh, bringing some players back but losing some players from a season ago. But what makes them such a, a unique challenge in Region Two in terms of uh, the style of baseball? You know, you always want to play teams that are coached well and, and that that play hard and that uh, produce good players and good teams year after year. Um, it, it's a good testing point for us always, and um, you know the guys know each other from other sports as well, and they've they had. You know, football matchups, basketball matchups are always intense and, um, you know, not too far down I-29. And, um, you know, I, I I think this will be the first matchup of a few this year. And uh, it's always fun to play against, you know, top top competition. One thing for Coach Strand here, um, you know, win, lose, or draw, obviously you always want to come out on the winning side of the things no matter who you play. But for game number one and trying to get, you know, just some rhythm and routine in terms of facing live pitching on an opposition, what do you want to see from your team for a uh, quality baseball opponent here today against the Tommies? You know, we're really trying to set the tone as far as um, making sure that we're we're uh, as a program hustling and and we're engaged the whole time um, you know having some grit to us and that's something I feel like we've maybe lacked a little bit um, here and there the last few years um, hoping to, to crank that up and um, you know today's a good test for us to getting out and actually playing against somebody we we don't see every single day is going to be good so we're excited Benjamin thanks so much for your time and best of luck here today against the Tommies appreciate it thank you that again Benjamin Strand head coach of the Burroughs will continue on our I reinsurance pregame show after this Everyone here at the Hillsborough and Central Valley School Districts would like to take this time to remind parents to teach their children how to be responsible and stay drug-free. By late elementary, many children know of a classmate who smokes, drinks, or uses drugs. It is never too early to talk to your child about substance abuse. Schools teach kids to say no to drugs, but it's what the parents do that counts the most. This has been Katie Seifried with a message from the Hillsborough and Central Valley School Districts. You have insurance on your home, your car, and even your phone. But do you have insurance on your life? Hello, Angela here with the IRA Insurance Benefits Connect team. Does talking about life insurance make you uncomfortable? Do you know what type of life insurance you need? Did you know there are life insurance options to fit almost any budget? Our life and health agents at IRE Insurance work with top carriers to provide you with a free quote and a positive experience. To find out more about IRE Insurance Benefits Connect, go to IRAinsurance.com. As we continue on our Irene Insurance pregame show here today from Hillsboro to Thompson Tommies and the Hillsboro Central Valley Boroughs joining us now from the Tommies. That is Nate Solis here. And uh, Nate, first time that I've really got to talk to you in person in a while since uh, you know Newman Outdoor Field, which feels maybe like an eternity ago yeah. after having this uh, summer and going into winter snow a little bit. But uh, from the players that are coming back from last year's team, what have you liked so far in terms of the early season 3-0 and uh, marked to the 2023 version of the Tommies? Um, I, I really loved our pitching and our defense. You know, our kids are throwing strikes and it's a lot of kids that haven't really seen a lot of varsity innings i know we had a group last year that you know took the majority of our innings that graduated so um you know we knew going into that that would be a little bit of a question mark but we we knew there was talent there it was just a matter of getting the experience and getting a feel for it and how how they would do and they've been nothing but great um throwing strikes and giving our defense a chance and our defense has been absolutely phenomenal um and, you know i thought that was a strength coming into it that we could field um you know a good defense of nine nine solid guys at, at positions that they can excel at um and that that's been a great start um offensively we're still working through some things and trying to find the right lineup and who hits well uh in what spot but um pitching and defense have been uh great so far how tough has it been finding a rhythm i mean for hcv this is their first game that they're playing for you guys it's their fourth normally on a good year you'd hope that you're already in double digits at this time of the year for playing games so how tough has it been finding games to actually play in a dry field and also try to keep in rhythm here nate yeah you, you talk to a lot of coaches around the state especially with weather like this and field conditions and you get to know some people and get some <laughs> connections i can tell you that um you know it's 
it's I think the excitement and the kind of the energy that the guys can bring um, when they get outside and they've been in a gym for a week or two um, I think that that takes a little bit of worry out of it to know that they're excited to be out here and excited to be playing um, so you know, we just take it day by day and see what opportunities come and you know mother nature's um, not very happy with us right now for whatever reason so uh, whatever opportunity we can play when we can play we're going to take it one thing for you, Sos, before we let you go, what do you want to see from your team here today against HCV, a region game on top of it? I know it was supposed to be in Thompson. You move it down to Hillsboro, so again, a flexible schedule like it has been for the spring, but what do you want to see uh, from your team in this varsity contest? I want to see the, the pitching um, continue to be what it's been. Braden's going to be on the mound today. He's uh, had a great first outing. Um, I want to see him build off of that. Uh, <clears throat> defensively, same thing like we talked about. And then, you know, hitting, I want to see our approaches be a little better. I want to find us, see us have uh, a little bit more consistent at-bats, and I want to see us string a few together and not just one or two, and then the inning is over. So um, consistent at-bats, and uh, let's let's see what happens with, um, you know, guys getting hot and um, let, letting that be contagious. So. Hey, Nate, as always, thanks so much for your time and best of luck here today in Hillsboro. Thanks, Chase. That again, Nate Solis, head coach for the Thompson Tommies. We'll continue on our pregame show after this. Trail District Health Unit is here to provide you with health and wellness services, including health education, blood sugar and hemoglobin screenings, blood pressure checks, vaccinations, pre-COVID home tests, vision and hearing screenings, home care visits, limited term medical equipment, and more. Contact Trail District Health for information about childhood or adult immunizations and where you can get them. Call Trail District Health Unit at 701-636-4434. Trail District Health is here to prevent, promote, and protect. Honesty, loyalty, integrity. At Bank North, we remain true to these values for generations. They shape the way we do business, work with customers, and support our communities. We've been here for more than a century, helping people grow farms and businesses, finance homes, and pursue their dreams. It's values-based banking, and it's all about working together to strengthen the common threads that bind us together. Bank North, always true. It's really cool to see the beginning and end product. So it's very satisfying to build something that you know people are really going to appreciate. We make products that last decades. Being able to stand behind our products and having something that is so known for that is awesome. As we continue here on our IRA Insurance pregame show, let's get to our starting lineups brought to you in part by our friends with American Crystal Sugar Company here in Hillsboro. Live the sweet life with great careers, quality products, grower-owned crystalsugar.com. That, again, is crystalsugar.com. Drew Overby for the Thompson Tommies batting leadoff, the junior uh, second baseman uh, from there. Brendan Wolfgram, the junior pitcher batting second. Thomas Schumacher, the sophomore shortstop here, he'll be batting uh, third, Reese Berberich, the senior catcher batting cleanup. Brody Gibson, the junior center fielder batting fifth with William Welke, the designated hitter batting sixth. Sean O'Hearn batting seventh with Drew Odenbach eighth. Jonathan Muse is batting ninth and playing third base is Brandon Tice here for the Thompson Tommies. And that's a look at our American Crystal Sugar starting laps here for the Thompson Tommies. First pitch scheduled for 4 o'clock, and we're going to be right on schedule here today in Hillsboro at 3.59 with Gavin Belisles with the first pitch here on this overcast. A little bit of clouds rolling through here in Hillsboro on yourliveevent.com. Batting leadoff again is going to be Drew Overby here for the Thompson Tommies. Glad in there. Green tops with those silver bottoms. Here's the pitch that'll be in there for a strike now. One and one to Overby. Thompson, 3-0 and so far on this season with wins over Washburn, Wilton, Center, Staten, and Shiloh back on April the 15th. Here's the 1-1 one -one offering by the lefty. This one is fouled, and this one will be fouled back. Now it'll be one and two. Wins over 
them and then North Star out in Shiloh and the win over Crookston back on April the 18th, 4-1 to one against Hatton Northwood for the last game out for the Thompson Tommies. As Gavin Belisles looks in and the 1-2 offering. This one, strike three looking, and that'll be out number one here to get things going for Belisles. In the outfield for the Hillsboro Central Valley Burrows, they'll be going like this from left to right as James Fortman in center field is going to be Cole Hebel, and then in right field will be Mr. Olsen, Landon Olsen in right field here today for the Hillsboro Central Valley Burrows. First pitch on the way to the opposition pitcher in Wolf Graham. This one's going to miss in the dirt. It'll make it 1-0. and oh. At third base here for the Burrows is Kyle Halfley. At shortstop is going to be Carter Limke. And second is Chase Halfley. And at first base here is going to be Hattlestead Caleb. Here's the 1-0 pitch. That'll miss for a ball. Now 2-0. and oh. The battering ram behind the plate here today for the Thompson Tommies is Andrew Doolum, 2-0 pitch on the way. This one at the knee will miss low now, 3-0. Cole Hebel for HCV heading to Minnesota Crookston to play Division II baseball coming up next year. And then the catcher, the senior, one of four seniors here in the starting lineup for Coach Benjamin Strand. Doolum is heading to play collegiate baseball at Bemidji State. And that will be a four-pitch walk on the way for Wolf Graham. So he will take first base here. So Gavin Belisles has a strikeout, then a walk to open things up here. As we'll get to the third batter here in Thomas Schumacher. And for the Thompson Tommies here with Wolf Graham, we'll see what they want to do at first base if they go the healthy lead here for Wolf Graham being held on by Hattlestead. They'll stay put. First pitch will be up for a ball, outer part of the zone now 1-0. That was, again, our American Crystal Sugar starting lineups live the sweet life with great careers at crystalsugar.com. Playing even with the bang at third is Kyle Halfley, trying to take away a potential bunt that comes across. This one in there for a strikeout or part of the play by Belisles. Good-looking pitch now, one and one. Thompson Tommies, they've really owned this region in recent years as they've made state eight of the last nine seasons and the defending champs from Newman Outdoor Field a season ago. For head coach Nate Solis and the Tommies, there's a quick pickoff throw to first, not in time. We'll keep it now at 1-1 one one early on in the season here. Have a little bit of the jitters you can see across the way in right field, the football field here in Hillsboro, and with the heck behind it with the activities complex, the event center. Here's the 1-1 one -one pitch by Belisles. This will go to the backstop on a wild pitch, allow the runner go to first to second here to Wolfgram. And with the wild pitch, the Thompson Tommies will have their first base runner now in scoring position. Also going on today in Hillsboro, Northern Cass squaring off with the HCV Burrows in a Region 1 softball contest. Two balls, one strike, one out here in the top of the first inning. Schumacher takes inside as an LB3 and 1. So a four-pitch strikeout looking to Drew Overby for Belisles and Wolf Graham with a four-pitch walk. And now Schumacher right now will take pitch number five of the at-bat here against Belisles. Outer par of the plate, good-looking pitch. Now three and two. Reese Berberich is due up next here for the Thompson Tommies. Runner at second in Wolf Graham. Outfield playing a little bit straight away. Hebel in center, a couple shades into left center field. Belisles looks back, the runner at second, and this one will be smothered in the dirt by Doolum, and it'll be runners at first and second now for Thompson. The Tommies will gladly be patient at the plate. Now the cleanup batter and Reese Berberich, the senior catcher, will step into the plate here for the Thompson Tommies. I'm looking fans in terms of making their way out to Hillsboro here. Some bringing their parkas, others just bringing a sweatshirt. Here's the first pitch on the way to Berberich. That's going to be in there for a strike. Now 0-1 since the first time since Drew Overby, a batter number one. Gavin Belisles able to get ahead of the batter here and work ahead of the count as Berberich is crouching a little bit in that batter's box. 0-1 pitch. 
breaking ball in there for a strike. So he throws a fastball, then he throws the off speed, and now gets ahead in the count 0 and 2. Runner at second is Wolfgram Schumacher at first. Thompson looking for their first hit of the game while Belial's looking for his second strikeout. 0 2 pitch swung on and missed, and he gets punch out number two of the inning. So now one good out away here for the Hillsboro Central Valley Burrows of getting out of a little, little bit of a pickle here in the first inning. As Brody Gibson, the junior center fielder, batter number five here in the lineup for Thompson, comes up to the plate. Tommy's with those all silver helmets look awfully smooth up there with the Thompson Tommy logo up front. That'll be in there for a strike, and now Gavin Belial starting to find his rhythm here to Berberich and Gibson. Works again ahead in the count, 0-1. Runners at first and second, two outs here in the top of the first inning on our Golden Harvest Tim Kazette seat sales scoreboard. This one is grounded up the first baseline. It'll be a difficult play for Belials. Flips and throws, though, however, nicely to Halstead to retire the side. 1-3 on the putout. No runs, no hits. There were no errors and two runners left on base. We played a half inning here in Hillsboro. It's the HCV Burroughs coming to bat on yourlivevent.com. There's a new inventory of trailers at Bloomfield Enterprises of Hillsboro. You can see the latest inventory uh, online at bloomfieldtrailers.com. You know, Bloomfield spot. Enterprises has a full line of Big Tex trailers. Big Tex has affordable and versatile utility trailers for all your jobs. Big Tex has a full line of products from ATV trailers to gooseneck to dump trailers and more. Call Larry at 218-368-7989 or Tim at 701-430-0877. Bloomfield Enterprises in Hillsboro. Yeah. I mean, you might be able to, like, do a... The Halstead quickly, Living Center, like, Heritage House in Halstead, and the Normandy into One Valley present an atmosphere that, that is calm and comfortable. Be, you know, Whether you're in need of a short-term or long-term care stay, they offer a variety of first-rate services with a tailored plan to exceed your expectations at any level of care, including senior living with services, skilled nursing care, rehabilitation care, respite, hospice, or adult day care. Get more information by going to HalsteadLivingCenter.com or call 218-456-2105. As we return here, and we'll get to our American Crystal Sugar starting lineups here, brought to you in part by our friends again with American Crystal Sugar Company, this time for the Hillsboro Central Valley Burrows as they're coming up to the plate here. Batting lead off the junior third baseman, Kyle Halfley. Cole Hebel batting second, the senior center fielder with Andrew Doolum uh, batting third, the senior catcher. Caleb Haddlestead batting cleanup. And then Chase Halfley, the younger brother of Kyle, is batting fifth. Carter Lemke batting sixth. James Fortman seventh. Landon Olson eighth. And Gavin Belisles here batting ninth for Hillsboro Central Valley. For the Thompson Tommies in the field, left to right in the outfield, Muse, Gibson, and O'Hearn here for a Thompson. Tice is going to be at third base with Schumacher at short. Overby at second, Odenbach at first. Berberich behind the plate, and Braden Wolfgram is on the mound here today for the Thompson Tommies HCV. And they're clad all top to bottom gray uniforms with the blue numerals with Burroughs out across the front here. Righty righty matchup to open things up here for the Burroughs. And this one will be fouled and up the line. And that'll just miss a car here for some hail damage. And it'll make it 0 and 1 on the count here to Kyle Halfley. Wolf Graham, 0 1 pitch. That'll be in there for a strike as hey, head coach Nate Solis calls him Wolfie. So he might have to do that as well throughout the broadcast. Head coach for the HCV Burroughs again is Coach Benjamin Strand. Here's the 0 2 pitch. This one will miss at the knee. Now 1 and 2. So Halfley, Hebel, and Doolum to open things up here for the Hillsboro Central Valley Burroughs. 1-2 pitch on the way from Wolfgram. This one is laced back, and I'll just get over the netting, and we'll have it 1-2 all over again. For Hillsboro Central Valley, they were scheduled to have their first game of the season yesterday, but that got canceled due to Mother Nature. 1-2 pitch on the way. This one's going to be fouled back, and good job by Halfley here following off some pitches against Wolfgram. Game on Thursday with Laramore, and then game on May the 2nd with Maple Rivers, the couple of games that are scheduled next. It's been a very fluid spring again. 1-2 pitch, strike three in the outer part of the zone, upper part of the zone for the strikeout here for Wolf Grant. And coming up will be Cole Hebel. 
But for baseball fans and just spring sport fans in general, they understand it during a very blustery March and early April with snow. What the original schedule said maybe back in January and December, not so much here. This is a high fly ball deep to right field to the warning track to the wall, and that ball is gone. It's a solo home run for Cole Hebel, the right field, and the HCV Burrow strike first here on our Golden Harvest Tim Kazette Seed Sales scoreboard. Hebel with the solo home run here for the Burrows to get things going. Here in the bottom of the first inning, first pitch swinging, it almost looked like it might have jammed him a little bit, but that ball continued to take some flight. 265 down the right field line, 300 down the left field line, and about 365 to center. But Hebel hit that one about 300 feet in the right fielder. O'Hearn just ran out of real estate there. So one pitch, one hit, and one run here for HCV. So Hebel with the solo homer. And this pitch will miss for a ball now one and out to Andrew Doolam. Well, Hebel, again, heading to University of Minnesota Crookston, we saw part of the reason right there with his power to right field for the Burroughs. And now Wolfgram falls behind the count two and O oh to Doolam. Righty, righty matchup. Two O oh pitch is laced down the right field line. That'll be foul into a snow pile here in Hillsboro. That'll be two and one. Taking a look back here for the Burroughs, their most recent state tournament appearance in baseball back in 2008 here for HCV. This one going to be on the outer part of the plate, missing for a ball, now 3-1. and one. A couple of state titles and program history from a Hillsboro point of view in 67 and 68 going back-to-back. 3-1 -back. offering. Got him to go through the zone, now 3-2. and two. In 67, a 7-4 win over Hatton. And it's 68, a 2-1 win over Fordville. 3-2 pitch. That'll miss outside, and that'll be the first walk of the day here for the Burroughs at the plate. As Caleb Hattlestead will check in now for the senior first baseman. So a good start here for the Burroughs as they got out of a little bit of a pickle with Belisles there in the top of the first. You get your second hitter of the plate, Cole Hebel, to score the first run of the contest. Now the Burroughs are out front here and trying to add on here in the bottom of the first inning. This one is going to be popped up, and this will be out of play for a strike now 0-1. Chase Halfley due up next, followed by Limke in the hole here for Hillsboro Central Valley. 0-1 pitch on the way as Wolfgram looks back to runner with Odenbach holding him on. This one's going to be hit on the ground. Tice will see if he turns two. He does go to second for one. The relay not going to be in time. Reaching out of fielder's choice going to be Haddlestead. Well, Doolam is retired 5-4 to four on the putout. That'll be the second out here of the first inning. Now batting number 16, Chase Halfley. Halfley, the freshman second baseman. Do up next, HCV was scheduled to play part of that Enderlin Baseball Jamboree earlier in the season on the schedule. That's slated to come in the pickoff throw. Going to be out of the first baseman's glove, Odenbach there as Haddlestead took his lead. But because of the weather and where we've kind of at right now, uh, the Enderlin Baseball Jamboree has become a Region 1 tournament game almost within the regular season just to get games in as any region right now on the eastern side of the state. The calendar is not an ally on the one hole pitch. This one is going to be popped up and playable. Overby, the second baseman, comes into short right field to retire the side, pop out to retire it. But there was one run on one hit, no errors, and one runner left on base. One complete on our Golden Harvest, Tim Kazette Seed Sales scoreboard. We'll get to that Enderlin Baseball Jamboree comment in a moment after this here on your liveevent.com. We can go a minute and as it Treat yourself to, go, to a great career like ready, at American ready, Crystal ready, Sugar ready. Company. Team up with quality people making minutes. quality products. Full time and year round in a stable right. business. With great pay fun. and benefits including time off available from day one. American Crystal Good Sugar Company bring, uh, invests in you water. to promote your continued growth and career advancement. Thing, I was really your career up. doing your best work thing. within the world's up. best beet so sugar company. Apply online today at AmericanCrystalCareers.com. 
This is Bailey Scott, a senior at Fargo Davies High School and the 2022-23 North Dakota High School Activities Association Distinguished Student. Educational athletics, including games like this one, teach a lifetime value such as respect for your opponents, coaches, officials, and classmates. There are few better places than athletic competition to demonstrate respect for others. By your demonstration of respect for those participating and watching today, you underscore that the most important part of high school competition is the people involved and not the game itself. A public service message from the North Dakota High School Activities Association and this radio station. HCV Burroughs leading on our Golden Harvest Tim Kazet Seed Sales scoreboard one to nothing over the Thompson Tommies here on your live event.com. Make sure you stay tuned to our post game show brought to you in part by our friends at Halston Telephone Company with the post game connection, keeping you connected and discover local reliability you can trust at HalstedTel.com. We'll get to our player of the game also. Final numbers in this one and take a look ahead for both of these teams. Again, that's all coming up on our HTC Halstead Telephone Company post-game connection. Right now, the Burroughs lead it by one, thanks in part to a solo blast there by their number two batter and their senior center fielder and Cole Hebel. As we get ready to go here for the second, for the Thompson Tommies, they will have their batters of the six, seven, and eight in the lineup with William Wilkie, their sophomore designated hitter, due up first with Sean O'Hearn second, and then Odenbach, that's Drew, third here in the second inning. The lefty Belisles, a couple of walks and two strikeouts in the first. First pitch swinging, this one goes right back the, up the middle and right under the glove of Lemke for a base knock here. First pitch swinging for Wilkie, and that'll be the first hit of the afternoon for the Thompson Tommies. Drew Overby struck out in the first, followed by a four-pitch walk to Wolfgram, who reached second base via the wild pitch. Schumacher then walked on five pitches, strikeout with Berberich, and then Brody Gibson grounded out to the pitcher up the first baseline with Belios to get out of the jam in the first but Thompson in the second with Wilkie climbing aboard and here's O'Hearn now we'll see what the play is on here swung on and missed that will be now oh and one Odenbach and then Muse and it goes back to the top of the lineup here for the Thompson Tommies in the second seven innings high school baseball or if you get to a certain part of the game in the fifth Start talking about a 10-run rule if it gets to that point in any game throughout the season with the mercy rule in high school. This one will miss outside. Now it will be 1-1. One and one. College baseball, the Summer League Baseball Tournament being played at Newman Outdoor Field almost a month to the date right now when the Summer League Baseball Tournament will have the four best teams coming to Fargo, North Dakota. 1-1 one, one pitch on the way. That's on the breaking ball. Got out of the crouch was... Duelum now will be two and one. Fargo Moorhead Red Hawks baseball about just over three weeks away from their home opener on May the 15th. So there is signs of spring, signs of summer, even though sometimes it doesn't feel like it. This one, good job by Duelum keeping that from going to the backstop. It'll now be three and one. Wilkie again at first. The senior right fielder, Sean. See how aggressive he is going to be right now with the Lyles. Or if he maybe takes a pitch, try to run the count full, and then we'll see what they do with Wilkie at first. Wilkie takes his lead, held on there by Haddlestead. 3-1 pitch is going to be hit in the air up to the right field line, and that one's going to be, oh, what a sprawling attempt by the second baseman. Chase Halfley with a snow cone web gem here on this Tuesday afternoon. Lost his glasses, lost his baseball cap but he made the play that might be our defensive play of the game right there by Chase Halfley there'll be one out here in the first inning Halfley with the sprawling attempt had a very difficult play because Olsen was not going to get there and right here's the pitch on him box he's just one come in now one and oh and good base running by Wilkie as well. He kind of took a couple of steps off, saw where the ball was going to be, and held home close to first. They probably would have got him at second if that ball would have dropped, but instead he did not get doubled up and currently at first base. 1-0 pitch. That'll be in there. Uh, excuse me, that'll miss for a ball. Now 2-0. So Belial's right now wildly effective is the old adage if you're going to miss out of the zone. But when he comes in the zone, he does have a couple of strikeouts, two walks, one hit against him so far through four outs here in this contest. Belisles looks back into Doolum, looks back to runner at first, 2-0 pitch, right down Broadway for the strike, now 2-1. and one. Bach with that nice neon pink 
or a little bit of off salmon color bat here really makes it pop on that green jersey. Two on offering for Belisles. Goes back to first. And a slide back in safely here is William Wilkie. Center fielder in Hebel shading the batter in Odenbach a little bit in the left center field. The same for the left fielder in Foreman. Playing a little bit more down the line. A big gap right now in right center. This one, miss out sign three and one with the number nine batter, Jonathan Muse, due up next here for Thompson. Gavin Belisles looks in. Only 3 1 offering. That one going to be in there for a strike right at the belt here on the inner part of the plate. Good looking pitch there for Belisles. And we'll see if they send the runner at first here with Wilkie with a 3-2 count. Where our fee stays put here with one out in the top of the second inning on our Golden Harvest Tim Kazet Seed Sales scoreboard. Stepping off is Belisles. For HCV coming up in the bottom of the second inning, they'll have their 6, 7, and 8 batters with Limke, Fortman, and Olsen due up in the bottom of the second. 3-2 pitch. Wilkie stays put at first and strike three looking that's the second strikeout via looking here for Belisles and two down now here in the second inning. Really good looking pitch there by Belisles a little bit. Came in, you know, with that runner a little bit at the belt. You see that big breaking ball coming across that fastball. A little bit of a change up mix so far here for Belisles today. Now one out from getting out of any harm in the second. Check swing, did he go? Just so you know, he did not. That one at the eyes here for Jonathan Muse. Now 1-0. Oh. If Muse can get aboard the leadoff batter, Overby is due up next here for the Thompson. Tommy's in a game that got underway just over 20 minutes ago here in Hillsboro. Game originally scheduled to be played in Thompson, but with the game now in Hillsboro, the Tommies are the visitors and Hillsboro the home team. This one will miss. Now 2-0. and oh. Talking with the coaches about that earlier, just saying, hey, since the game was in Thompson, how does that Kind of all work into the schedule. Just as your normal visitor and home. 2-0 pitch. In there for a strike. Now 2-1. and one. Thompson trying to remain undefeated and pick up a region 2 win to boot. If they can pick up the win here today. Trying to get to 4-0. Well, for Hillsboro Central Valley, this is both their home and regular season opener here of 2023. This one in the dirt, smothered by Doolum, and that'll be three and one. Belisles with back-to-back -back walks in the first with Wolf Graham and Thomas Schumacher. But the 3-1 pitch on the way, Belisles have to hunker down now to Muse here, the sophomore starting left fielder for the Tommies. And Belisles will step off the rubber one more time here and take a look inside, and we'll do it over a Again, with the pitch come and what you have in Major League Baseball where you just have the catcher just, you know, hits a little button and it has the voice interactive, that'll be a ball here, so it'll be the third walk for Belisles. Wonder when that'll get into the high school ranks where a catcher can just kind of sit there and, you know, hit a number or two and then wearing a little receiver on the other side for a pitcher and, you know, fastball low and away or fastball up and in. That's something that has really helped speed the game of play up, particularly in Major League Baseball, that and the pitch clock. This one will miss outside. Now it will be 1-0. and I'm not sure if we'll ever get a pitch clock in high school sports. I just don't, don't see the investment compared to what the pitch clock or the shot clock is in basketball. Typically in high school, it's all about just like anything in baseball. Can you throw strikes? If you throw strikes, the game really does move along. This one, do them. Is a good job keeping that one from going to the backstop. Now 2-0. and Runner at second is Wilkie at first base is Muse after the walk. But two outs here in the top of the second inning. Thompson looking for something to get to the outfield to tie this one up or possibly even take a lead. A lot of real estate in right center field. 2-0 pitch. That'll miss now 3-0. and As Doolum right now is going to come out and talk with Belisles. Thought that might have been a strike there at the top of the zone. Instead, it's 3-0. We'd like to thank all of our sponsors, including Ryan Omptal, as we will get an in-game update 
as this game progresses. Brought to you in part by our friends with Ryan Opdahl at Farmers Union Insurance in Hillsborough from Home Auto Business Life Farm Insurance. Call 701-436-5777. That'll be a four-pitch walk, and the bases are loaded of Tommies now here in the second. Welke at third, at second base is Muse, and Drew Overby takes a four-pitch walk. That's walk number four for Belisles here, and the number two batter in Braden Wolfgram, who drew a four-pitch walk, steps into the plate. Thompson with the tying run at third, the go-ahead run at second, here in the top of the second inning. Something that Thompson has done so well of over the years is responding when the other team gets a run. And they got the solo home run, for Hillsborough Central Valley with Cole Hebel, a solo blast. And right now, Thompson trying to answer or possibly even take a lead. Here's the 1-0 offering from Belisles. This one's going to be hit on the ground of the third baseman, and Kyle Halfley will gladly go five unassisted on the putout. So the Tommies had a chance, but unable to find any runs here in the top of the second as we go to the bottom of the second. It's HCV coming to bat on our Golden Harvest Tim Kazette Seed Sales scoreboard. Thunder Seed has over four generations of experience in the field. Through innovation, technology, and hard work, we put farmers first by providing high quality products. We pride ourselves on developing quality soybean, corn, wheat, and corn silage seed for dealers and growers across our region. We are invested in being your partner throughout the full cycle of your harvest. Thunder Seed, first in the field, family owned and farmers first. The City of Hillsboro welcomes you to town, conveniently located halfway between Fargo and Grand yeah. Forks. Shop for your personal items, farm and business supplies at our local stores. If you're looking for a new home or a working job, check out the opportunities in Hillsboro and see what the community can offer you and your family. The City of Hillsboro congratulates the area graduates on your achievements, and they wish you all the best in your future. They hope that you'll carry pleasant memories of school days and graduation time for the rest of your life. Congratulations and best of luck, graduates, from the City of Hillsboro. Chase Miller and Joey Hughes with you here in Hillsboro, North Dakota on this Tuesday afternoon. Able to maybe get the deck a little bit ready to rock and roll for what the rest of the spring and or summer has in store. And one of those days where right now, if it was in the fall, you might say it might be a good bonfire night, right? Hang around the bonfire, have one more grill out in the spring. You're thinking more, hey, let's get 20, 30 more degrees out there and See how it can feel. This one is hit up the third baseline foul. So Linke, Fortman, and Olsen, the six, seven, and eight batters do up here for Hillsboro Central Valley going up against Wolfgram here on the mound. This one is going to be hit to the shortstop. About a four hopper here for Schumacher, who goes across the diamond in time, sixth around the putout to Odenbach, and that's one down here in the second inning. So good start for Wolfgram, who retired halfway. That was Kyle with a strikeout to open up the first, and then Cole Hebel took a shot to right field for the home run. Fortman, the junior left fielder, righty versus righty here, will come into the plate. This one will miss low at the knee. It'll be 1-0. and oh. Wolfgram in that first inning, one hit. That was an earned run in that solo home run with a strikeout and a walk. That'll be 1-1. One and one. The Tommy so far with five runners left on base. Well, HCV, they've left one as well. 1-1 one, one pitch. And the offering. This one's going to be hit high in the air. That'll be to just on this outskirts here, close of going to the outfield for Schumacher. So Schumacher with a grounder, then a pop-up here. And that's two down in the second inning. Olsen will step in now here for the Burroughs. State B baseball tournament this season in Minot at Corbett Field. It'll be the first weekend of June, first, second, and third. Region 2 tournament again this season at Mayville State University. Mono pitch in there for a strike. Now one and one. And we are under a month away from postseason spring sports here, which I know it probably doesn't feel like it, 
But May the 20th is going to be the Region 2 baseballs. Wolfgram really getting a rhythm here, and he strikes him out. Three up, three down here, and Wolfgram found his rhythm and said, give me the ball like Mark Burley. Let's put it right back to the catcher's mitt. No runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left on base. Two complete on our Golden Harvest Tim Kazette seed sale scoreboard. Thompson down by one, coming to the plate. Do you want that new boat? Are you building onto your home? Maybe you want the new camper or ATV? Dakota Heritage Bank can help you. This is Dustin Nagel, president at Dakota Heritage Bank Hillsboro location. You can visit with me or our other loan officers to help with loans and lines of credit from Dakota Heritage Bank. We are serving you with locations in North Dakota and Northwest Minnesota. Dakota Heritage Bank offers financial services you expect with a local perspective. dhbanknd.com. Dakota Heritage Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. But, but maybe in 15, 20 years, you might have... Like My name is Jared, born and raised you know, in Minnesota, baseball, and I'm the project director at Enbridge. Enbridge is more than a pipeline company. It's a company participating in renewable energy projects helped, in Minnesota and abroad, and I'm really proud to be working here. We believe a cleaner energy future is achievable. For over 20 years, we've been early adopters of renewable yeah. energy, and we're proudly committed to net zero emissions by 2050. Right, to hear more from Jared, visit Enbridge.com slash Jared. That's J-E-R-R-I-D. As we go to the top of the third inning here on your live event.com, Hillsboro Central Valley with the 1-0 advantage right now over the Thompson Tommies. Chase Miller, Joey Hughes with you as Thompson will send the heart of their order to the plate. Three, four, and five batters with Schumacher, Berberich, and Gibson against Gavin Belios. So far, Belios, two innings, just one hit against that came back for a leadoff single by Wilkie in the second. He's had four walks, three strikeouts, but the most impressive number is the runners left on base. Two in the first, bases loaded in the second. And if he can continue to find ways to get out of trouble when Thompson uh, has got their leadoff runner on in the second, and then had back-to-back -back runners with one out on via the walk in the first. Again, wildly effective so far for Belios. Kind of reminds me of that one game that Francisco Liriano against the White Sox a while ago now at the cell had about nine strikeouts and a no-hitter, but he also had nine walks roughly. I forget the stat line, but it was one of those where it was wildly ineffective. The batter really never knew where the ball was going to go. Not to say Bo Isles has been that kind of pitcher so far here today. He's attacked the zone, but there's been times if you're a Thompson Tommy batter, you just haven't found too much of a rhythm so far in terms of getting hitched just one so far through six outs. Top of the third inning for HCV as Bo Isles right now looks to duel him behind the plate. At third base is Kyle Halfley, Limke at short, Chase Halfley at second, and Halstead at first for the Burroughs. Belisle's the pitch. This one's going to be popped up, and this will be behind the plate. Doolum gets rid of his mask, and is going to retire the first out. One pitch, one out here. As that'll be a pop out to the catcher to open things up here in the third. Good job by Doolum with the sun and right, having to battle that a little bit, but also just making sure to find the pop up. It's Halfley was hard charging down the third base line. Belisle looks in. Burbridge steps to the plate with a strikeout his last time up in the first. The lefty delivers. And this one will miss for a bowl. That will be 1-0. Oh. But back to postseason baseball. May the 20th is a date to really circle on your calendar for postseason spring sports in North Dakota. The 1-0 -oh pitch. This one will be in there for a strike now 1-1. One and one. May 20th, just that weekend alone when it comes to baseball and softball, you have both the Region 2 softball tournament in Thompson. The Region 2 baseball tournament is at Mayville State. Here's the 1-1 one -one offering. This one's going to be hit on the ground over the first baseman, Belisle's trying to barehand it there as Lemke unable to do so. And that's going to be the first hit of the afternoon. Or I think we might have to give that one a little bit more of an air with Lemke. That's a tough one. We'll see what the official yeah, score is going to put that in. But for Berberich, he's going to reach base here. That was going to be a tough one for Lemke regardless as it went right over Belisle's head. He had a chance to barehand it, and if he would have thrown across the diamond, he maybe would have been able to get Berberich out at first. But once he was unable to deal it cleanly, that allowed Berberich to get on at first base. So Belisle's will look back the runner now at first with Gibson. 
And this one's going to one hop, and that will be all the way to second base now for Burbridge. The first baseman handles it has to go all the way to the fence line, and that will be a throwing error on that one with Belisles to allow the Thompson Tommies to get a base. So Thompson right now, while well, the runner at second with the game tying one with Gibson at the plate who grounded out to Belisles his last time up to end the first inning. This one will be in there for a strike now, 0-1. May 19th is the track and field regional meets. Northeast region track and field will be at Laramore, the southeast in Castleton here. And the Region 1 baseball tournament, this one is going to be popped up and foul out of play. Now 0-2. May the 16th is the playing game. May the 18th is the opening round in Enderlin. Then May the 20th will be their second full day of the Region 1 baseball tournament, the Region 1 softball tournament this season for HCV fans. That's going to be in Kindred, while Thompson again will host the Region 2 softball tournament. Here's the 0-2 offering with Belisles. This one's going to be popped up again, a chance for Duel, and we'll see if he runs out of room, gets the warning right over the fence here, and that'll be foul. About another five feet he might have been able to handle it, and instead it's now 0-2. So again, May the 20th is a date that you're going to want to circle on your calendar for spring sports action in and around the Red River Valley here when it comes to track and field, baseball, and golf. Runner at second right now is Berberich, Gibson, Trying to find something to maybe hit to the right-hand side of the plate and get Burbridge to at least third here if he can put the ball in play. 0-2 pitch. That'll miss. Now 1-2. and two. Coming up for HCV in the bottom of the third inning, Belisles, Halfley, and Hebel. It's Kyle Halfley. The 9-1 and 2 batters are due up in the bottom of the third for the Burrows. 1-2 pitch from Belisles. This one's going to be popped up and in play. The first baseman, Hattlestead, has to bat a little bit of the win here and then gives away, and that will drop in there. Runner going from second to third will slide in safely. There's that one with Hattlestead and Chase Halfley, and also we're just kind of coming across. Someone's got to make a call, and then all of a sudden the ball drops in. So runner's at first and third right now for the Thompson Tommies. And Belisles had to strand two runners in the first. Stranded bases loaded in the second. And for Coach Benjamin Strand right now, we'll bring a couple of extra baseballs out here for the HCV Burroughs to their home plate umpire. But again, for Belisles, he found himself in these situations both the first and second inning. And now it's the first time he's had runners at the corners with one out here today against William Wilkie, the sophomore designated hitter who let off the second inning with a single. And this one fouled straight back to the netting. It'll be 0 and 1. So, so far in this inning, you do have one error with two hits. We're going to give him a hit on that one. That would have been a tough play for the shortstop Lemke with Berberich. But that error then by Gavin Biles, that one hopped Hattles that allowed the runner in Berberich to get second base. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Fouled straight back almost to the same exact spot into the netting here. Wilkie hit one right up the middle. His last time up on the ground now falls behind the count 0 and 2. So Gavin Belisles right now, one strike away from getting his second out and possibly, depending on where this one gets hit, if it's on the ground, trying to get out of here with a double play. Runners at the corners for the Tommies. 0-2 pitch. Breaking ball smashed to Limpke at first. As he's going to go across the diamond, this one is going to get by the first baseman, so they get the out. Runner coming in from third is going to be Berberich, and then the runner from first base in Gibson will go to second on another air here by HCV. So a line drive to Limke with Wilkie. So Wilkie is retired for the second out. Berberich will come in to score. Gibson will take second base after the throwing air there by Limke, and now we're tied at one apiece. Tough one from an HCV point of view, just for the simple fact of Limke, you know what he's trying to do, get out of the inning, get out of the situation, as O'Hearn will swung on and miss. Now 0-1, popped out his 
last time up to the second baseman. Just one of those where you throw it across the diamond and Halstead is unable to keep it in front of him. He's able to have a good throw and a good catch. Uh, very easily could have retired the Tommies here in this inning instead. It's now runner at second base with two outs here with Gibson. And O'Hearn takes a 1-1 one, one offering upcoming. One one on the way as Belisles looks back the runner at second. This one's going to be hit, and that's right to a line drive to the third baseman. Halfway to retire the side, so a pair of lineouts as the Thompson Tommies get one run on that inning. But there was a couple of errors with hit and one runner left on base. Two and a half complete on our Golden Harvest. Tim Kazet seat sale scoreboard. We're tied at one apiece. So a single, single. Nothing has embodied the American spirit like the family farmer. Year after year, they work the land. Through droughts, floods, and uncertain markets, they keep that spirit alive with another crop harvested for the next generation. And for that, we tip our hats to them. Farmers Union Insurance, protecting those that protect America's food source. Visit with Ryan Opdahl, your local Farmers Union Insurance agent in Hillsboro. As we come back here, perfect timing, running to our Ryan Opdahl, Farmers Union Insurance in-game update here with two and a half innings in the book. If you're just joining us, HCV drew first blood with a solo home run from Cole Hebel, the second batter going up against Wolfgram. He hit that one to right field. And for the Thompson Tommies, they took advantage of a couple of hits, a couple of errors in that last half inning to have Berberich come in after the Lemke throwing air to Haddlestead, trying to double up the runner. And that is our Ryan Opdahl Insurance, Farmers Union Insurance in-game update here on yourliveevent.com. Chase Miller, Joey Hughes on this Monday afternoon, excuse me, Tuesday afternoon. Yesterday we had a contest in Castleton for Central Cast Kindred Richland for softball. As Belisles, Halfley, and Hebel, the 9-1 and 2 batters, are due up here in Wolfgram. 1-0 pitch in there for a strike now, 1-1. One and one. We saw Wolfgram kind of get into this rhythm here late in the second. Just got the ball, got on the rubber, and went to work. 1-1 one, one pitch missing. Now 2-1. and one. Berberich behind the plate here for the Thompson Tommies. 2-1 pitch with Wolfgram in there for a strike now, 2-2. Two and two. Tice at third with Schumacher at short. Overby at second and Odenbach at first here for Thompson. Wolfgram, 2-2 pitch. This one will run in, and that'll miss for a ball. Now 3-2. and two. Wolfgram so far, two innings of work, one hit against him, the solo homer, one walk, and he has two strikeouts. So three balls, two strikes here, left to right in the outfield is Muse, Gibson, and O'Hearn here for the Tommies. 3-2 pitch. This one's going to be hit. A little soft line drive to the shortstop Schumacher who makes the play behind second base. And one down here now in the third inning. Kyle There's Kyle Halfley struck out. There's last time looking in the bottom of the first inning. Then Cole Hebel do up next here for the Burroughs. This one going to be hit on the ground of the third baseman. Tice recovers, has some time to throw across the diamond, not in time. That one just kind of came up and on that next hop with Tice as he brought his glove up, just kind of hit the inside of that wrist area there. So Halfley's going to get a board on an E5. As Hebel will step up to the plate with a runner at first. Tice did a good job getting in front of that ball, but if he makes it cleanly, he might have had a chance to get the runner at first with Halfley. But once he bobbled it, picked it back up, Halfley, no doubt about it, was going to take first base. So runner at first now for the Burroughs, trying to regain the lead as Wolfgram misses to the outer part of the plate now, 2-1. and one. Hebel with the lone hit so far today for Hillsborough Central Valley. A quick snap throw back to first, not in time as Halfley gets back safely. There does Kyle with the tag applied by Odenbach. Two teams again that feel like they have a chance in Region 2 this season. 
This one going to miss outside. Now 2-0. The Thompson Tommies able to defeat Mayport CG last year in the Region 2 championship game to advance to Newman Outdoor Field and eventually win the state title. Again, a quick pick throw back to first. The 2-0. I'm going to argue that Region 2 was the best in terms of Class B basketball with the number of teams that could have made a run to the state tournament. This one will miss outside. Now 3-0. So Wolf Grant being a little bit more careful with Hebel after Cole first pitch. Hit one to right field for the home run his last time up. There's a quick snap throw back to first. That's something, again, in Major League Baseball that's different as well where you can't do it more than twice in a batter of having that pickup throw. 3-0 pitch. That's kind of the old unintentional, maybe intentional walk here with Hebel a little bit. So Halfley will take second base. Hebel with a four-pitch walk. That's just the second walk with Wolfgram here today, and now it's going to be Andrew Doolum, the senior catcher. Worked the count full his last time up in the first inning, then was able to walk to get aboard in the third and retired on a fielder's choice. So runners at first and second base right now. For HCV, Halfley at second, Hebel at first, as Wolfgram looks into Berberich. For the pitch, good looking breaking ball in there for a strike now. Oh, and one with Caleb Haddlestead due up next. Wolfgram so far, two and a third innings pitched. Has one hit against him with a run, a couple of walks, and two strikeouts. 0-1 pitch in there for a strike now, 0-2. As Wolfgram steps off the rubber here, doesn't like what he sees with Berberich. And the pitch, swung on a miss, and Wolfgram gets the strikeout. Hitting the brakes there was Halfley at second look to kind of head that second little lead. And Andrew Doolum is retired on three pitches. So strikeout in every inning so far for Wolfgram. Now one out away from getting out of this situation here in the bottom of the third. As Caleb Haddlestead reached on a fielder's choice his last time up. This one will miss for a ball, now 1-0. The number four batter here today for Hillsborough Central Valley as Thompson will send 8-9-1 with Onenbach to lead things off in the top of the fourth inning. Wolfgram looks back the runner. That's second halfway with a big lead. Here comes a daylight play with the shortstop, and they got him. Schumacher chasing him down, flips it to the third baseman. Drew retire the side. That'll go 1-6-5 on the putout as out at third base is going to be Halfley. We just mentioned he had a dangerous lead, and here goes Schumacher on the daylight play, and nice job by Wolfgram to retire him. So the Thompson Tommies get out of a jam here in the bottom of the third through three on our Golden Harvest. Tim Kazette seat sales scoreboard. We're tied at one apiece. Hi, I'm Ernie Struby, president of the Goose River Bank, and I would like to know your story. Our lives and our businesses are comprised of events. We have all had our failures and successes, and these events define our character. If your character includes values like yeah, trustworthy, respectful, there, honest, and responsible, like, like, then your story matches well with ours, and we would consider it a privilege to be your financial miles, partner. At the Goose River Bank, we believe that a strong bank builds strong it. communities. I mean, I the Goose River Bank, member here, FDIC. But with a high school kid, I'm going to give more benefit of the doubt that you would have Beat that out. Great Plains Fireworks and Sports Collectibles, what? Hillsboro. Fireworks and sports stuff in the same store? That's right. Uh, Great Plains Fireworks and Sports said, Collectibles, yeah, Hillsboro. Like Come in and browse the sports God, cards and memorabilia so and fireworks cool. at the same time. Unopened packs and boxes of sports cards, plus pre-owned cards as well. Jersey swatch, autograph cards, lots of Twins, Vikings, Wolves, Wild, Lynx, and North Stars memorabilia, bobbleheads, caps, right, and more. They're 10. open Saturdays, 10 to 5. Oh, Call anytime, 701-436-6140. Great Plains Fireworks and Sports Collectibles, Hillsboro. 
Joey Hughes running the camera. Chase Miller with you here in Hillsboro, where it's starting to cloud over a little bit more here on this Tuesday. For more information for upcoming games, go to our website, yourliveevent.com. That, again, is yourliveevent.com. Last season, both Thompson and Hillsboro Central Valley took part in the Enderlin Baseball Jamboree. And then, ironically, because of a very similar weather situation from Mother Nature last year, a lot of those games between became region counters both from Region 1 and Region 2 teams where they would travel to Enderlin and get a game or two in to actually play against one another. And it's going to be the same thing this year for the Enderlin Baseball Jamboree. The only difference is it's going to be exclusively Region 1 teams to try to get as many games this Friday and Saturday from Hendrickson Field in Enderlin. So for the Thompson Tommies in the Hillsborough Central Valley Burroughs, three innings through so far. And for Thompson, one run was able to score by Burberich. One run on the way here for Hillsborough Central Valley with the solo homer by Cole Hebel. Eight, nine, and one batters due up here for the Tommies. Odenbach will take that one will be a ball outside. Now 1-0. Drew with a strikeout looking his last time up. Muse, the number nine batter, and then the third time through here for Thompson to go up against Gavin Belisles on the mound. Here's the 1-0 offering. That'll miss outside now 2-0. Gavin so far has stranded six base runners, three innings of work, four walks, and three strikeouts. Lyles looks into Doolin behind the plate with a 2-0 offering here to Drew Odenbach. And the pitch. That one going to be in there for a strike now, two and one. Number of players from last season team for the Thompson Tommies. And graduated from a season ago. This one swung on and missed now, two and two. Two balls, two strikes here to Odenbach. And we'll see what Belisles can come up with here. 2-2 pitch, breaking ball. That was a big 12-6. Almost came down and split the upper part of the plate. Now 3-2, and two. almost kind of the old Ephus that just kind of slowly came through. It felt like a little bit there for Belisles. 3-2 pitch to Odenbach. This one's going to be fouled back, and we'll do it all over again in pitch number 7 of the at-bat upcoming. But Thompson last season, Connor Welsh is gone. Tyler... Cunningham, a senior from a season ago. Kyle Odenbach, also gone. And 3-2. Swung on a miss, and Belisles gets the strikeout. That's going to be his fourth of the afternoon as Jonathan Mews will come to the plate with a walk so far here today. Also, some of the seniors, Ryan Strandy, the designated hitter who could put and quickly turn on a baseball. So for Thompson, there's definitely some new faces in the both the starting lineup or some of those players getting more opportunities to play this season for Coach Nate Solis. This one's going to be running up and in. Now it'll be 1-0, and oh, and then it goes back to the top of the order with Drew Overby due up next. And a game that started at 3.59, so just over 50 minutes old so far here in Hillsboro. Top of the fourth inning on our Tim Kazette seat sale scoreboard. This one's going to be foul just over the netting. Now 1-1 one and one for Hillsboro Central Valley in the Bottom of the fourth inning, there are four, five, and six batters with Halstead to lead things off for HCV. Belisles, 1-1 one, one offering on the way. That'll miss low. Now 2-1 to Jonathan Muse. Muse again walked in the second. I was able to reach second base before he was stranded with the bases loaded. On the pitch. That one going to be in the dirt. Now three and one. Wolf Graham hit a ground ball to the third baseman to Kyle Halfley. And Halfley just gladly went to third base to get the force there to retire the Tommies in the second when they had the bases loaded. 3 1 pitch. That'll miss for a ball. And that'll be walk number five here of the afternoon for Belisles. Second one for Muse as he will take first base. Two walks in the first, two in the second, and one so far here in the fourth for Belisles. Now Drew Overby, 0 for 1 on the day. Struck out looking in the first and walked his last time up in the second. 
Runner at first base with Muse. Again, with one out here in the fourth, held on there by Haddlestead. Looking to bunt. This one will be high. That will be one and oh as Kyle Halfley came charging down the third baseline. We'll see what the play is again for Coach Nate Solis up the third baseline. Third baseman here in Halfley. In a little bit on the grass at third. One old pitch. This one will run in and actually hit the batter. So Overby will take first base here. And going to second will be Muse. So the Thompson Tommies, as they've done in every inning, have had runners on base here, and they are threatening. And Coach Benjamin Strand right now going to come out and talk with his pitcher here in Gavin Belisles. Runner at second is Muse. Overby at first here. And we'll see what some of the instructions are for Coach Benjamin Strand. And this might be one of those situations where you get a new pitcher coming into the game. And it looks like we will have a new pitcher. So we'll break with you, and we'll let you know some of the changes coming up next here on yourliveevent.com. The Halstead Living Center, Heritage House in Halstead, and the Normandy in Twin Valley present an atmosphere that is calm and comfortable. Whether you're in need of a short-term or long-term care stay, they offer a variety of first-rate services with a tailored plan to exceed your expectations at any level of care, including senior living with services, skilled nursing care, rehabilitation care, respite, hospice, or adult day care. Get more information by going to HalsteadLivingCenter.com or call 218-456-2105. You can trust the pros at Hillsboro Body Shop to make your vehicle look as good as new. Cars, pickups, trucks, semis, Ben and Tyrell at Hillsboro Body Shop can do the work. And Hillsboro Body Shop is also the place to repair your windshield. Don't wait to get that pesky chip repaired. Ben and Tyrell can replace that glass the same day. Call Hillsboro Body Shop at 701-636-4981 and put Ben and Tyrell's combined 30-plus years of experience to work on your vehicle. Hillsboro Body Shop, 701-636-4981. Hillsboro Dairy, with delivery of fresh dairy products and more to your home door. I've had Hillsboro Dairy delivering cold, fresh dairy products and other items to my door for years. Three main reasons why. It's the convenience, the products are fresh, and the delivery service from the Utter Guy. Nobody does it like the Utter Guy. Every week, we get the CT. Please call him at 701-436-5877. Delivery right to your door from Hillsboro Dairy. As we come back here to the top of the fourth inning with a pitching change here on your live event, uh, come Gavin Belisles goes three and a third innings with three hits against him so far. One run that is unearned. He, however, is on the hook for Muse at second and Overby at first right now. Six walks, four strikeouts for Gavin Belisles as now Caleb Haddlestead will come on and pitch for Hillsboro Central Valley. So Haddlestead will go from first to the mound. Hebel will go from center field to first base, and the former pitcher in Belisles now will play center field. So that's a look at your pitching change and roster situations here for Hillsborough Central Valley in the defensive spot. After Muse was able to get a five-pitch walk, and then Overby was hit by a pitch. Coach Benjamin Strand took very little time to come out and talk with Gavin Belisles, and again, game number one of the season for Hillsboro Central Valley. Well, for the Thompson Tommies, this is game number four. And for Thompson right now, this is kind of blood in the water time. They had their chances. No runs in the second, left two runners on. No runs in the third, left bases loaded. Scored thanks in part to a couple of errors in the third inning. And now here in the fourth, it's a matter of what can this Thompson Tommy team find a way to do against Haddlestead and the pitching here for Hillsboro Central Valley as Wolfgram will come on here for the Thompson Tommies. Wolfgram so far today, 0 for 1 with a ground out and a walk. But he's got the go-ahead run right now at second base here for the Thompson Tommies. Haddlestead, righty, righty. So you go from the lefty Belisles to now the righty in Haddlestead. As Haddlestead looks to run her back and the pitch. That will miss to the outer part of the plate. And now it's going to be 1-0. One 1-0 and oh. One oh pitch upcoming here. 
This one will be in the dirt. Doolin will be able to block that one, keep the runner at second. So it will be runners at first and second still. However, Thompson right now working ahead in the count with Wolfgram at 2 and 0. Oh. Adelstead, 2-0 pitch on the way, Wolfgram. This one going to be in there for a strike now, 2-1. and one. HCV will love a double play, if not to get to the second out quickly here. Thompson looking to allow the runners to run the bases like a carousel, and this one will be off the glove of Doolin, but up the third baseline, enough to keep the runner at second here in Muse. That's now 3-1 and one after Adelstead almost... Hit Wolf Graham. So Wolf Graham steps back in ahead in the count as Hebel playing in front of the runner at first. And a 3-1. This one's going to be hit right back up the middle, and this is going to be smothered by Limke. Flips to the second baseman, and Chase Halfley not in time, but Limke does a really good job keeping that one at least in the infield. That'll be an infield single here for Wolfgram. Muse goes to third, Overby to second. The hit against Haddlestead here. And now the bases are loaded in the top of the fourth inning. Schumacher comes up to the plate with a walk in the first and popped up to duel him his last time up in the third. Corner infielders will play in. Well, up the middle, they'll play for the double play if they can turn it. This one is hit right back off, and that will hit off the left ankle of Haddlestead here, and that will be an infield single. Now Haddlestead is going to have to get checked out as that was hit right back up the middle here by Schumacher. So coming in to score is going to be Muse. Taking third base will be Overby. Wolfgram goes to second. Back-to-back -back singles here by the Thompson Tommies. That run is earned and against Belial, so he's got one more base runner out there with Overby as they check on the pitcher. We'll take a break with them here as they check Haddlestead out as that one went right back up and got the look like the outer port of his ankle. We'll take a break with you right here on YourLiveEvent.com. The Hillsboro Vets Club welcomes you for Bros to Chicken Saturdays 5.30 till 7.30. Fries and coleslaw along with delicious roasted chicken. It's the best chicken I've ever had. Roasted chicken, dine yeah. in and take out on oh, Saturdays at the Hillsboro Vets Club. And remember, appetizers and so many other fun activities at the Hillsboro Vets Club. Good luck to the Hillsboro Central uh, Valley Boroughs from everyone at the Hillsboro uh, Vets Club. And they thank go. you for all of your Even support with the Hillsboro Vets Club. This is Bailey Scott, a senior at Fargo Davies High School and the 2022-23 North Dakota High School Activities Association Distinguished Student. Educational athletics, including games like this one, teach a lifetime value such as respect for your opponents, coaches, officials, and classmates. There are few better places than athletic competition to demonstrate respect for others. By your demonstration of respect for those participating and watching today, you underscore that the most important part of high school competition is the people involved and not the game itself. A public service message from the North Dakota High School Activities Association and this radio station. Well, the good news here for Haddlestead, he wasn't on the ground for too long as they were taking a look at him. That was one of the hardest hit balls that we've seen here today, and that literally, talk about the percentage of on the follow-through hitting an ankle on the pitch, and that's exactly what it did here with Schumacher, but it looks to be all right. But Thompson back in the same situation where they were before, now just with a 2-1 to -one advantage. That one will be in there for a strike here. So Berberich will be the sixth batter to the plate for the Thompson Tommies. Was able to reach base with a single his last time up and scored. Struck out in the first. This one swung on and foul tipped. That'll be 0 and 2. Most batters that Thompson has brought to the plate so far is six in the second, and this will match it in the fourth inning. For Hillsborough Central Valley, it's about minimizing the damage right now as best as possible. And for Thompson, can they open this game up with bases loaded? 0-2 pitch. This one's going to be hit on the ground of the third baseman is halfway. Kyle one-hops the catcher, and this will pull him off the bag, and that's going to be in there for a base-scoring run for the Thompson Tommies. So Overby will come in his score. Wolfgram takes third. Schumacher goes to second, and Berberich 
is going to reach base. There'll be an error on the throw here. Is if Halfley has a good throw, they got the runner out at home with Overby. Instead, that came up the first base line, and Duelham tried as best as possible to keep his foot on the bag, but sooner or later said, I got to get off the home plate here and just keep it to one run. So same situation, bases full of Tommies as Gibson comes up to the plate. This one will have to make Gibson duck under and be now 1-0 and oh here for the Tommies. So Thompson taking advantage here of some errors that we've seen so far today for Hillsboro Central Valley. And something you might expect in, again, game number one of the season for the Burrows. Instead of playing outdoors and having practice after practice after practice, finally getting out and putting into your actual game-like situation. Well, for Thompson, game number four here of the season. Uh, Tommy's up by two right now over the Burrows here in Hillsboro. 2-0 pitch upcoming. That one will miss. Now 3-0, and with Gibson, this is going to be one where you more than likely are taking all the way, forcing Hellstead to try and throw a strike. 3-0 pitch, and he does for the strike. The book is now done on Belisles. He will give up three runs, one of them only being earned in three and a third. Everybody else right now on base is with Haddlestead. That'll be in there for a strike now, three and two. Halstead doing a good job battling back, down 3-0 on the count, able to make the count full, and for Brody, 3-2 pitch. This one's going to be popped up, foul. Hebel has some distance between the first baseline and the dugout. That'll be a pop-out here to the first baseman. So a large second out for Hillsborough Central Valley. It's now the Tommies will need a walk or a hit. Trying to keep the line going here with William Wilkie. Wilkie with a single in the second right up the middle and a line drive out to Limke. And for the Thompson Tommies, they will have a pinch runner coming on here as Gustafson will go to first base for the courtesy runner. But the Berberich, the catcher, will allow him to get his gear and get ready for the bottom of the fourth inning. Pitch coming in on Wilkie for a strike now 0-1. And then it goes to Sean O'Hearn if Wilkie can get aboard, and Thompson would have their ninth batter to the plate if Wilkie can get on base. 0-1 pitch. This one is grounded right to Haddlestead, who comes off the mound, able to flip it over to Hebel to retire the side 1-3 on the put-up. But the Thompson Tommies do score two runs there were back-to-back -back hits alongside with one air and bases loaded. Thompson has now left nine runners on base through four innings. Three and a half complete on our Golden Harvest. Tim Kazet seats now scoreboard. It's three to one Thompson. The Burrows coming to the plate. Our Savior's nine Lutheran Church in Hillsboro, this. North Dakota invites you to experience the love of God. Our Savior supports all youth with academics, athletics, hey, music, art, dance, and drama and offer meaningful opportunities for people of all ages. Join us for worship at 8.30 or 10.30 each Sunday morning, in person or watch on television, HTC Channel 34, or online, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, or at oslchillsborough.com. You can trust Paul's Hometown Repair for professional service on your vehicles, cars, vans, pickups. Bring them in to Paul's Hometown Repair Hillsboro. Whether it's light work such as oil changes and tune-ups or more serious yeah, matters including transmission work and engine overhauls, they'll get the work done for you at Paul's Hometown Repair. They'll get your vehicle back on its wheels running like new. Call 436-4676 to schedule your vehicle for service at Paul's Hometown Repair Hillsboro. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning here. Thompson with their first lead of the game going into the bottom half of the fourth as the Burroughs scored first in the bottom half of the first inning. And Thompson just slowly but surely has 
found their way, clawing back here with a run in the third and two runs in the fourth. But for HCV, their four, five, and six batters, good to see Haddlestead again still out there after taking that line drive shot off the mound right on his ankle. So Haddlestead will come in here against Wolfgram, and Wolfgram has really found a little bit more of a rhythm in the second and the third. This one's going to be on the inner part of the plate popped up here. Tice giving some room as well as Wolfgram, who calls everybody off and makes the catch. So I'll go right to the pitcher. One pitch in and out. They finished off catching Kyle Halfley behind the plate there for the third inning. So Halstead again opened up the fourth. Chase Halfley comes to the plate. HCV five batters to the plate in the first as this one will be in there for a strike. Three up, three down in the second. They were able to bring five batters to the plate then in the second before Kyle Halfley was caught off. Now Chase Halfley, one and one here in the bottom of the fourth inning. In the pitch, that'll miss low. Now two and one. Strikeout in the first. Strikeout in the second and third. Three strikeouts so far with a pair of walks. Three and one. Here for Halfley, Chase 0 for 1 today with a pop-out to Overby at second. This one is hit right back up the middle. Opportunity here at shortstop, and Schumacher with a really nice glove there across the diamond. Keep this balance. That will be 6-3 on the putout. Two up, two down here as we get to Carter Lemke now in the fourth. As the pitch... Will miss outside now 1 0. Lemke ground out to Schumacher in the second inning. 1 0 pitch. This one's going to be popped up, and Schumacher has a chance at this one. And that'll retire the side. Three up, three down on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pitches here in the bottom of the fourth inning. No runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left on base. Four complete on our Golden Harvest Tim Kazet seed sale scoreboard. It's Thompson up by two coming to the plate. That's what we like. New Golden Harvest Gold Series soybeans are here. In the Hillsboro area, contact Tim Kazette, 701-430-0877. These new Golden Harvest Gold Series soybeans feature exclusive genetics and high-demand trait platforms like Enlist E3 soybeans and Extend Flex soybeans. Golden Harvest Seeds. Talk with your area representative, Tim Kazette, 701-430-0877 for Golden Harvest Seeds. Let's get real. Get ready for a place that's big enough to grow and small enough to care. The University of Minnesota Crookston offers more than 35 majors, minors, and certificates. Earn a University of Minnesota degree where you can make a difference in a close-knit community. Faculty become friends and friends feel like family. You don't need a big city, just big dreams. The University of Minnesota Crookston, real, hands-on, and will get you ready for anything. Top of the fifth inning, make sure you patronize all of our sponsors and allow us to be here for High School Athletics on your live event.com between Hillsborough Central Valley and the Thompson Tommies here in Hillsboro. As for Thompson, they will send the bottom of the order. The seven, eight, and nine batters do up with Sean O'Hearn, Drew Odenbach, and Jonathan Muse. Right now on the hook is Gamma Belisles with the loss. Edelstead came on to third innings of work. Gave up a couple of hits, but got out of the jam with a pop-up and then a grounder right back to him from Wilkie here in the last top of the fourth. Swung on a miss. Nice little breaking ball pitch there by O'Hearn. Really got from the center part of the plate and really went outside. 0-1, I'm coming. Here for to O'Hearn. Adelstead, this one will be into the back. Now 1-1. One one. The Minnesota Twins have game number two at the New York Yankees later tonight from Target Field. Both teams 13-10 and 10 on the season. Cortez pitching for New York, while Joe Ryan is pitching for the Twins. This one's going to be grounded foul. And then game number three coming up tomorrow afternoon from Target Field. And that game going to be at 12-10 tomorrow with Kenta Maeda.
going up against Jermaine for the Yankees. Twins looking to win one more game against the Yanks and take not just the series, but the season series with New York as well. Yeah, that's right. It's not May, and they will not play the Yankees for the rest of the season. This one going to be a tough play, but calling everybody off there at second was Chase Halfley on a little line drive. Shot up the middle. And that'll be one down here in the top of the fifth inning. Drew Odenbach, 0 for 2 today with a strikeout, swinging and strikeout looking. One thing he has done at the eight batter of the plate so far has worked the count full in both times he's been to the plate. As Hal said, rocks and delivers. And this one will miss. That will be 1 and 0. Left field today. Fortman for the Burroughs with Belisles, the starting pitcher now in center, and Olsen in right. Here's the 1 0 offering. That one will miss for a ball. Now 2 0. Dolan behind the plate. Kyle Halfley at third with Wimke at short. Chase Halfley at second. And Hebel, the center fielder, now is playing first. 2 0 pitch. Swung on and missed by Odenbach. It'll be 2 and 1. Still to come, we'll get to our Embridge Energy Player of the Game, Embridge.com Energy for Life and Career Opportunities, and we'll get to our RDK Enterprises Feature Precision Play of the Contest as well. 2-1 pitch. That's in there for a strike now, 2-2. Two and two. That one might be the diving play by Chase Halfley so far. That's really been the best defensive play of the game. Here's a 2-2 offering. That'll miss the backstop, and for the third consecutive at bat here for Odenbach, he works the count full. And that Halfley play came back in the second inning. Three balls, two strikes, one out here in the top of the fifth inning. Hattlestead against Odenbach, and it will have a time. After that, it goes to Jonathan Muse, who's Climbed aboard twice today with a run scored via two walks. And back to the top of the lineup here for Thompson. Payoff pitch on the way for Hattlestead against Odenbach. 3-2 misses, and that'll be a walk. And Hattlestead will have his first walk in relief here for Hillsborough Central Valley. Jonathan Muse with a five-pitch walk in the second and the same in the fourth here for the Thompson Tommies. Thompson looking to add some Runs on to our Golden Harvest Tim Kazet Seed Sales scoreboard up by two right now with one out here in the top of the fifth inning. Runner at first base as Odenbach takes his lead with Hebel holding him on. Hattlestead looks the runner back. They come on to butt here, and this will be a foul ball as Muse got the bunt down, but did not leave the batter's box and went foul. Now 0 and 1. May 20th, we'll get everything going again for the Region 2 Baseball Tournament from Mayville State. Runner at first base. And Odenbach takes his lead one more time with Hattlestead. Working ahead in the count now, 0-1. That'll be in there for a strike now, 0-2 oh, to Muse. And after Muse goes back to Drew Overby, who's reached base twice so far today for the Tommies. Thompson... With five hits across with three runs, they've taken advantage of three burrow errors in this contest. 0-2 pitch will run in, miss for a ball, now 1-2 and two with 10 runners left on base. Well, for Hillsboro Central Valley, one run off of one hit that was a solo blast back in the first inning. They have two runners left on base, and there's been one Thompson Tommy error. 1-2 pitch, that'll be strike three, but it'll go to the backstop here. And there will be an out recorded at first base with the runner owning by going from first to second after the pass ball. Mules will strike out the first strikeout for Atfield here in relief. And then we're going to have the courtesy runner come on again for the Thompson Tommies as Jordan Gustafson will come on and run. At second. So Gustafson will be at second base now with Drew Overby stepping up to the plate with some insurance. 
Standing 180 feet away from the plate, that'll be a good pitch, and therefore a strike now 0-1. Bottom of the fifth inning for the Burroughs. They will have Fortman, Olsen, and Belios, the 7, 8, and 9 batters due up for the Burroughs. 0-1 pitch. Little miss for a ball. Runner will stay put in Gustafson. So now it's 1-1. One and one. Drew so far today struck out looking to open things up back in the first. Drew a four-pitch walk in the second, was hit by a pitch his last time up in the fourth, and came in to score. 0 for 1 today. 1-1 one, one pitch is going to be hit on the ground. Kyle Halfley there, gloves it, goes across the diamond. In time, 5-3 to retire the side. Good-looking play there by Kyle Halfley to Hebel with the stretch. There's no runs off of no hits, no errors, and another Thompson Tommy runner left on base. Four and a half complete from Hillsboro. The Burroughs coming to back down by two. I'm dreaming I of a world where first a crack of a bat is not just back a and hobby, a baseball but softball. a lifestyle. Like, it's been a little while. <clears throat> where I can build upon long traditions from the ground up. I want to work in an industry where all people can make <laughs> their own field of dreams. Did Bino go, did he let you on the mic? <laughs> I'm going to elevate the world of sports someday. Sure. New equipment, five model 2023 Gleaner Combines are on the lot at Ziegler Ag Equipment, Highway 9 North Ada. Contact Chuck or Neil to get on the list of names for fall demo work. Call 218-784-2961 and get your farm on the list so Gleaner Combines demonstrations can take place during harvest on your farm. These are Class 7 and Class 8 Gleaner Combines. Now here at Ziegler Ag Equipment Ada. It's cleaner with Gleaner. Talk to Chuck or Neil for more details. Ziegler Ag Equipment. Bottom of the fifth inning on our Golden Harvest Tim Kazette Seed Sales scoreboard here on YourLiveEvent.com. Chase Miller, Joey Hughes with you. Go to YourLiveEvent.com. As it's been more of a slow process to officially figure out if Mother Nature or the baseball teams are going to win here this season. So far, it's been Mother Nature a lot. Uh, actual baseball games very minimal here in the Red River Valley. But on a day like today, good to get outside, get some yard work done, or just enjoy a little bit of baseball and those watching at home as well. I'm glad you're tuning in here on your live event. So seven, eight, nine batters, bottom of the fifth inning as the Thompson Tommy still on the mound here is Brandon Wolfgram in his fifth inning of work works ahead here of Fortman. Fortman hits one down the third baseline foul will be now 0-2. Three pitches popped up to Schumacher his last time up at shortstop. Benjamin Stram, the head coach, fifth year with this program for the Burroughs at the varsity level. This one is going to be slashed down the right field line, and this will get by the right fielder or her. Rounding first on his way to second is Fortman. Fortman's going to slide in, and he's in there safely with a leadoff double. Good opportunity there by O'Hearn. He laid out trying to get in front of that baseball, but it one-hopped him and then went over its club. Good job by Fortman hustling right off the shoot. That would be just the second hit against Wolfgram here. And now the Burroughs in business to get things going here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Landon Olsen struck out his last time up as the runner Fortman takes his lead from second. Wolfgram looks back the runner. The pitch, this one is going to be popped up to right field as the second baseman will come across here with Overby in a short right field. One pitch, one out. Now will be Gavin Belisle stepping up to the plate, and then it goes back to the top of the order here for the Burroughs. Seven innings in high school baseball here, or once you get to the fifth, you can start talking about that 10-run mercy rule as well. As Wolfgram looks back, the runner. This one's going to be hit on the ground to Schumacher. Schumacher, the shortstop, gloves it, fires across the first. Here to Odenbach, quickly, 6-3 to three again on the put out and two down. Oh, what it does to you to have a really good looking shortstop there with Schumacher. Just makes some plays look very easy defensively, whether it's been line drive, pop out, and the ground out as well. And those can be difficult with a runner at second where you're just trying to go to the baseball and find a way to glove it and fire it across the side for the second out. As Halfley will step up to the plate, 0 for 
two so far today. He did reach bases last time up via the air. This, this one gets by Schumacher into center. Covered nicely by Gibson to not allow the runner at Fortman to scamper to third. Lead off double for Fortman. And now it goes back to Kyle Halfley here. As Halfley, the junior third baseman, struck out in the first and again reached base in the third. This one's going to be foul back. That'll be 0 and 1. Then Halfley reached base on the Tice air, but then was picked off to finish the third inning. 0 1 pitch, Wolfgram. That one, good looking breaking ball on the inner part of the plate. Now 0 and 2. So Wolfgram, one good strike away here from getting out of the fifth inning and allowing the Thompson Tommies. To come back to the plate in the sixth. 0 oh, 2 pitch. Swung on and missed, and Wolfgram gets his fourth strikeout of the afternoon. No runs after a leadoff double. One hit, no errors, and one runner left on base. Five complete on our Golden Harvest. Tim Cazette Seed Sales scoreboard is a Thompson Tommy's three. HCV the Burroughs one. Thompson coming to bat next on your live event. Theta. Alston what? Telephone knows we all like choices. You can choose to have communication and the data services up to one gigabit over a reliable state-of-the-art fiber optic we'll network. And here. you can choose to have the same great services available town or country with local service and support. You can choose to have an individual and service or bundle. You can choose done. to avoid tricky so promotional pricing. You can coach. choose unlimited can data. The choice seems clear. Choose Alston Telephone, point, broadband, voice, TV. 1-800-457-2125. What? Yep. This is Chris from RDK Enterprises, your local precision planting oh, dealer. Say thank you to the farmers you come into contact with every day. They have chosen a career that is as much their deep passion as it is an absolute necessity for you and I. Spring is upon us and there will be farm what? equipment on the roads. Give them your patience and room to do no, their no, jobs. Trust laptop. me, they would rather be off the road working in their field than dealing with traffic. Here. From all of us here at RDK Enterprises, yep. we say thank you and have a safe spring. Top of the sixth inning we go. Thompson looking for a couple of insurance runs. Well, for the Hillsboro Central Valley Burroughs, they're looking to have a clean inning here and get the heart of the order. They're two, three, four batters up in the sixth and make some damage and the next time they come up to the plate. For Thompson, it's the two, three, and four batters here in the sixth inning with Wolfgram, Schumacher, and Burbridge. Braden walked back in the first inning, ground out in the second to the third baseman, Kyle Halfley, and then a single back in the fourth inning here for Wolfgram. So one of two so far here today for the Thompson Tommies, and Wolfgram on the mound. Pitched a good one, five innings of work with two hits, one run that was earned, two walks, and four strikeouts. Alstead, so far an inning and two-thirds of relief for Gavin Belisles, who went three and a third innings to start here for the Burroughs. This one going to be hit on the ground up the third baseline and foul. It'll be 0 and 1. Kyle Halfley just saw that one come across, and so I'll just continue to let that one go up the third baseline foul. Been difficult to try to get Wolfgram out at first, hustling into that. As this one will come in and an opportunity again for the Burroughs, the 0-1 pitch. Going to be hit on the ground right back up the middle, and that's going to be with Limke, who's able to Crap that one down, but it's going to be a single here for Wolfgram as he gets aboard for his third time today. It'll be the third hit against Hattlestead. And now it's Schumacher who comes up to the plate. Thomas with a walk in the first, popped out in the third, then a single in the fourth inning. And with Wolfgram at first base, the Thompson Tommies, as they've done in every inning, have a runner aboard here against this HCV pitching staff. This one will come in. Now will go all the way to the backstop on the Y.O. pitches. Rounding second will be Wolfgram as he'll be in scoring position here and then almost clips Schumacher. So Thomas will take a ball. Now will be 1-0. and oh. HCV's next game scheduled for Thursday against 
the Polar Bears of Laramore. Well, for the Thompson Tommies, they have a game against Hat North, where then they'll play Monaga and Rozo on Friday. This one hit deep to center, and this one will be off and over Belisles for a base knock. And this will be in there on the runner. Was having to wait with Wolfgram to see if that was going to be caught or not. So he'll go to third. Schumacher on his high horse goes from first to second. And there will be a double on the way here for Schumacher with runners now at the second and third, excuse me, as Reese Berberich will come up to the plate in the Thompson Tommies with a chance to break the game open right now here in the sixth if Berberich can find the gap. I'll play not one but two and give a little bit of insurance as well here for the Thompson Tommies. Hour and a half old game so far here today in Hillsboro. Adelstead looks in. That'll be in there for a strike. Now 0 and 1. Berberich struck out in the first with a reach base and score in the third and then reach base in the fourth via the air. 0-1 offering, runners at second and third. Hillsboro infield is in. This one will be a soft line drive to Limke for the out. So Burrow's trying to cut down that run at home. Works perfectly with a soft line drive, and now it's going to be Brody Gibson. Gibson one of three today with a single back in the third inning. Runner at second is Schumacher. At third base again is Wolfgram. And it's Gibson. Steps in the plate. Adelstead. Now with two innings of work on relief. Was the starting first baseman. This one will come in and him. Base is now loaded for the Tommies. Thompson, eight free passes so far today. Six walks with two hits batsmen. Part of the reason why they've had runners on in every inning so far has been allowing them to just be efficient at the plate via the walk and finding ways to continue to move along. Base is full of Tommies. The corner infielders will play in on the grass with Hebel and Kyle Halfley. They'll look to try to take the runner down at home. Well, for Limke and Chase Halfley, if they can try to turn two, that's what they're looking for at short and second. Here's the pitch. In there for a strike to William Wilkie. The sophomore designated hitter, one of three so far today for Welke, with a single back in the second inning. One down on our Golden Harvest, Tim Kazet seen sales scoreboard and the pitch. This one going to be grounded up the third baseline foul, now 0-2. Also coming up this year, during the summer months, make sure you stay tuned to your live event for some of the some are all-star games that we'll have. Go to yourliveevent.com in June and July and see some of the action. Last year we were able to have the softball, Optimus Volleyball. This one's going to be hit to left field. The left fielder coming in there, and Fortman makes the catch. Here's the throw back in. That'll be a sacrifice fly for Welke. And the Thompson Tommies get that insurance run. It's coming in to score as Wolfgram as they lead it now 4-1. to one. So sacrifice fly, that will be a run earned against Haddlestead, and now it's going to be Sean O'Hearn. So Thompson will take it. The Burroughs, if that's the only run that comes across here in the inning, they'll minimize the damage. That's the one thing HCV has done well of so far today is minimizing the runs that Thompson and not having a big crooked inning. Runner at second is Schumacher. At first is Gibson. The pitch is going to miss for a ball now 1-0. We had a lot of fun last year doing those all-star events. So, again, make sure this summer in June and July, keep apprised of yourliveevent.com. 1-0 pitch. This one will miss. Now 2-0. and oh. Kind of get to the middle part of May. Becomes like a February frenzy in March a little bit where a lot of spring sports going on at one particular time. Then you get to the final weekend with the state track and field in Bismarck. This one going to be fouled back to the netting. Now 2-1. and one. State baseball, softball, spring sports going to wrap up there in the first week of June. And then before you know it, you'll have a couple of all-star games with the softball and the Optimus Volleyball Series before June 15th, Shrine Bowl on June the 24th, and the Lions All-Star Basketball Series the week after the 4th of July. 
2-1 pitch. That'll be in there for a strike now, two and two. Six batters so far to the plate for Thompson in this sixth inning. Two balls, two strikes. Handelstead trying to get out of the jam here and just minimize the damage to one and get the bats to the plate here for the Burroughs. 2-2 two -two pitch. This one is hit right back up the middle. That's going to be an RBI single. Schumacher coming around to score. Belisles' throw is going to be over the head of Dullum. That will allow the runners to go up an extra 90 feet off the air. And it's now 5-1, to one, Thompson. So going from first to third is going to be Gibson. That's an RBI single for Sean, and he'll take second on the air from Belisles. And coming in to score again is Schumacher to make it now 5-1. to one. Tommy's Drew Odenbach comes up to the plate next. So RBI single on the way here for Thompson. And this one will be in the dirt. Odenbach will take a ball. So far 0 for 2 today with a walk and a pair of strikeouts. But right now the Tommy's getting a little bit of Offensive firepower up and down the lineup here today. Not just been one particular player. 1-0 pitch, swung on and missed. Now 1-1. One one. For the Burroughs in the bottom of the 16, Cole Hebel, Andrew Doolum, and Caleb Handelstead, the 2-3-4 and four batters do up next. Thompson with a run in the third, two in the fourth, and so far they've added two here in the sixth, as this will be. 2-1 offering upcoming here for the Thompson Tommies with Jonathan Muse, the number nine batter due up next if Odenbach can climb aboard. Runners again in scoring position here for Thompson. The pitch, this one will miss. Now three and one. Tommies, the one thing talking with Nate Solis, you know, just they really pride themselves on the defense, the Little things that can win you a ball game, getting the extra 90 feet, being patient at the plate when you can. That's what we've seen from this Thompson Tommy point of view, why they've been so good in so many seasons at baseball here, both from the high school side and Legion side as well. That one's in there for a strike, and now for Adelstead, makes the count full at three and two. Those have a base to give, but don't want to load them up here for Muse. And the pitch. This one's going to be hit in the air. That's going to be to left field. Fortman will camp out underneath it. That'll retire the side. But the Thompson Tommies do score two, and we have a new score on our Tim Kazette Seed Sales Golden Harvest scoreboard. It's 5-1 to one. Thompson. The Burroughs coming to the plate. Everyone here at the Hillsborough and Central Valley School Districts would like to take this time to remind parents to teach their children how to be responsible and stay drug free. By late elementary, many children know of a classmate who smokes, drinks, or uses drugs. It is never too early to talk to your child about substance abuse. Schools teach kids to say no to drugs, but it's what the parents do that counts the most. This has been Katie Seifried with a message from the Hillsborough and Central Valley School Districts. You have insurance on your home, your car, and even your phone. Better but do you have insurance on your life? Good. Hello, Angela here with the Irie Insurance Benefits Connect team. Does talking about life insurance make you uncomfortable? Do you know what type of life insurance you need? Did you know there are life insurance options to fit almost any budget? Our life and health agents at Irie Insurance work with top carriers to provide you, you with a free quote and a positive experience. To find out more about Irie Insurance Benefits Connect, go to irieinsurance.com. Bottom of the sixth inning we go. It's 5-1 to one Thompson over Hillsborough Central Valley here on your liveevent.com. Still to come, we'll get to our Halstead Telephone Company post-game connection here on your live event. So to the sixth inning we go. Cole Hebel comes to the point here for the Hillsborough Central Valley Burroughs as Wolf Graham is on for his sixth inning of work here for the Thompson Tommies. I'll get you a, a score across the way. Top of the sixth inning, it's Hillsboro Central Valley 7, Northern Cast scoreless in the top of the sixth in Region 1 softball. And as the Burroughs trying to get back to the state tournament in softball, and that's an awfully good softball region with the defending state champs and runners up from a year ago in Central Cast and Kindred Richland in the own region. 1-0 pitch. 
That'll be in there for a strike now, one and one. Hemo with the solo home run to right back in the first. And there's only been one hit since then off of Wolf Graham. Ellsboro Central Valley, two players heading to Division II next year in the baseball diamond. 1-1 one, one pitch. Hebel's one of them. Now it's 1-2. and two. Hebel with a solo home run and a four-pitch walk his last time up in the third. Here's the 1-2 offering. This one is hit on the ground to the second baseman. There's going to be Overby. Flips it across into Odenbach, who is able to touch first base. 4-3 on the putout. One down here to start things off in the bottom of the sixth inning. Okay, 11, Andrew, Andrew Doolum, Doolum, the senior catcher, 0 for 1 today with a walk back in the first and struck out his last time up in the third. Wolf Graham, the most batters that he's seen in an inning so far has been five today from the Burroughs. That'll miss for a ball. Now 1-0 and 0, as we'll still have one more inning of baseball to be played in the seventh. This one's going to be hit in the air. A little soft line drive shot right in front of the center fielder as Gibson will see this one drop in. It'll be a one-out single for Doolum. Second time Andrew gets aboard today. And that's the third hit for the Burroughs here. Just one that was off the end of the bat. Not enough to get out to Gibson, but enough to overpass Schumacher playing at short. And right now for the Burroughs, they just need to find ways to get runners on and get that tying run to the plate. Adelstead, first pitch swinging. This one will be foul now. Oh, and one. After Adelstead, it's Chase Halfley due up next end for the Burroughs. Wolf Graham right now looks back the runner at first and Doolum being held on there by Odenbach and the pitch in there for a strike at one and one. Make that 0 oh and two, excuse me. 0 oh and two upcoming here on the count. Swung on a miss, and Wolf Graham gets the strikeout. That's number five here for Brennan on this Tuesday afternoon, and out number two here in the sixth. Number 16, Chase Halfley. As Halfley will come up to the plate, 0 for 2 today, ground out to Schumacher, and a pop out to Overby at second. This one will miss inside, now 1 and 0. Wimke do up next here for the Burroughs. 1 0 the offering with Wolf Graham looking at Halfley. That'll miss. Now 2 and 0. Oh. Thompson in the top of the seventh inning will send their 9 1 and 2 batters to the plate. Pitch. This one is going to be two hopper to Schumacher. Flips it over to Overby covering at second. 6 4 on the putout to retire the side. No runs. There was a hit. No errors. And one runner left on base. Six complete so far here in Hillsboro. Five to one, advantage of the Thomas. Trail District Health Unit is here to provide you with health and wellness services, including health education, blood sugar and hemoglobin screenings, blood pressure checks, vaccinations, pre-COVID home tests, vision and hearing screenings, home care visits, limited term medical equipment, and more. Contact Trail District Health for information about childhood or adult immunizations and where you can get them. Call Trail District Health Unit at 701-636-4434. Trail District Health is here to prevent, promote, and protect. Honesty, loyalty, integrity. At Bank North, we remain true to these values for generations. They shape the way we do business, work with customers, and support our communities. We've been here for more than a century, helping people grow farms and businesses, finance homes, and pursue their dreams. It's values-based banking, and it's all about working together to strengthen the common threads that bind us together. Bank North, always true. Okay, so it goes two and two-thirds innings, four hits. It's really cool to see the beginning and end products. So it's very satisfying to build something that you know people are really going to appreciate. We make products that last decades. Being able to stand behind our products and having something that is so known for that is awesome.
pitching change here on yourliveevent.com as Caleb Adelstead in relief will go two and two thirds innings, four hits against him. Uh, one run which was earned, excuse me, uh, two runs, uh, both of those being earned here uh, today for Handelstead. Two walks and a strikeout in two and two thirds innings. Kyle Halfley will take the mound now for the Burroughs. Handelstead will go from the pitcher's mound uh, to third base, while Halfley will go from third to the pitcher's mound here for the Hillsborough Central Valley Burroughs. Doolum still behind the plate with Hebel at first, Chase Halfley at second. And third is going to be Limke. Straight away center field is Belias, uh, Belias, excuse me, Fortman in left, and then Olsen in right here for the Burroughs. For the Thompson Tommies, nine, one, and two batters. Jonathan Muse, Drew Overby, and then Brandon Wolfgram a do up here for the Thompson Tommies to get things going in this contest. Make sure you stay tuned to our post-game shows. We'll get you ready for what's to come next for both of these teams, but also we'll get to our Enbridge Energy player of the game and more. That's all to come. So Jonathan Mews so far today, 0 for 1 with a walk and a run score. That was back in the fourth inning. The righty, Halfley, first pitch swinging. This one's hit to center field. Lyles goes to right center, cuts across the Right fielder Olsen, one pitch in and out here on the fly out to center field. Drew Overby comes up now for the Thompson Tommies. This will be the fifth time through the order here for Thompson in this contest. Overby has reached base twice today, scored back in the fourth inning. Halfley, the pitch. That'll be in there for a strike now, 0-1. Oh, Wolfgram do up next after Drew Overby here in the seventh. And the pitch. That one's going to miss for a ball. Now it's one and one. One ball, one strike here, one out. The top of the seventh inning. And the pitch. This one will miss. Now two and one. Thompson trailed early, one to nothing, and then tied the game up at one apiece, took the lead in the fourth, and they haven't looked back. That's part of our Ryan Updell Agency game recap here on YourLiveEvent.com. 2-1 offering here for Kyle Halfley to the batter in Drew Overby at the plate. And the pitch. This one hit on the ground up the third baseline. Foul now will be 2-2. Two and two. Thompson can hold on here. They would get to 4-0 and oh on the season. Well, for HCV, if they're unable to make a comeback in the bottom of the seventh, they would drop their first game of the year and go to 0-1 oh in their season opener. Here's the 2-2 pitch from Halfley. Strike three looking, and Halfley gets the strikeout. As a pitching staff today, that's the sixth strikeout recorded for the Burroughs. Belisles had four. You had one by Halstead and one here by Halfley. So two down here in the seventh. The Thompson Tommies have yet to go three up and three down at the batter's box today against the Borough pitching. Wolfgram so far today has reached base three times, a pair of singles and a walk with a run scored back in the sixth inning. Leadoff single came in to score. And the pitch. This one's going to be hit up the first baseline foul, and we'll keep it now to 0-1. Schumacher then had a double right behind him to get runners at second and third in the sacrifice fly with Wilkie uh, brought Wolfgram in to score back in the last inning in the sixth. 0-1 pitch on the way here for Halfley. This one will one-hop the catcher, and that'll be 1-1. One and one. For the Burroughs in the seventh, to get the rally going, you have the six, seven, and eight batters with Carter Limke uh, due up to start things off in the seventh inning. 1-1 one, one pitch on the way. This one is hit on the ground right to Haddlestead at third. Gloves it, fires across to Hebel. We 5-3 on the put out, and there's your first three up, three down inning for the Burroughs against the Tommy's bat. So... We go to the bottom of the seventh inning. Thompson 
up by four. The Burrows need four to tie or five to take the win in comeback fashion. In seven, we'll find out what happens next on our Golden Harvest Tim Cazette Seed Sale scoreboard on your live event. There's a make new sure. inventory of trailers at Bloomfield a, Enterprises really of Hillsboro. Sure you can you see the latest inventory online at bloomfieldtrailers.com. Bloomfield Enterprises has a full line of Big Tex so trailers. Cut off, uh, Big Tex has affordable and versatile Boyd utility trailers for, for all your jobs. Team. Big it's Tex cool. has a full line of products from ATV trailers Hopefully, to gooseneck to dump trailers yeah. and more. Call Larry at 218-368-7989 or Tim at 701-430-0877. Bloomfield Enterprises in Hillsboro. See yeah, just a fresh the Halstead Living no. Center, Heritage House in Halstead, and the Normandy in Twin Valley present an atmosphere that is calm and comfortable. Whether you're in need of a short-term or long-term care stay, they offer a variety of first-rate services with a tailored plan to exceed your expectations at any level of care, including senior living with services, skilled nursing care, rehabilitation care, respite, hospice, or adult day care. Get more information by going to HalsteadLivingCenter.com or call 218-456-2105. As we come back here, Wolfgram misses in on Lemke. It'll be 1-0 to start the bottom of the seventh inning. Final three outs for the Burroughs here. Lemke pops it up to center field. Gibson comes across, cuts off the right fielder and O'Hearn, and that'll be two pitches and one down here in the bottom of the seventh inning. Lemke now 0 for 3 on the afternoon. James Foreman with a double back in the fifth as he hit one to right field to O'Hearn. It one hopped him after he went out to dive to grab that baseball. So one of two today so far here for James. This one will miss on the inner part now 1 and 0. Oh. Landon Olsen belials and back to the top of the order. 1-0 oh pitch in there for a strike now 1 and 1. Trying to get to Hebel and Doolum here for the Burrows, which would mean there would be runners aboard or there would be some runners that have scored. Two and one right now to James Fortman. Wolf Graham, six and a third inning so far pitched. This one's going to be hit on the ground of the third baseman. There is Tice. Goes across to Odenbach, and that'll be five to three. And put a nice stretch by Odenbach, and the Burrows are down to their final out. How about it, number of the Nathan game. Olson. So Olson. Will come up as the final out here for the Burrows. As he wants to keep this game moving along here. This one will be hitting the air up the right field line foul. It'll be now one and one. So again, if Olsen can climb aboard, Belisles is due up next. Here's the one-one pitch on the way. That'll miss for a ball now. Two and one. Wolf Graham been very efficient so far today. Five strikeouts, two walks, just three hits against. This one's going to be hit right to the shortstop, Schumacher. Schumacher across the diamond, three up, three down, and that'll retire this game, 6-3 on the putout. No runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left on base. A final at 552 here in this contest. So a game that goes one hour, 53 minutes. Thompson Tommies pick up the win by a final of 5-1. to one. The winning pitcher is Wolf Graham with the complete game. Well, the losing pitcher will be Belisles here in this one. We'll take a quick break. We'll take a look at the final numbers and put a bow on this one. When we return, coming up on our Halstead Telephone Company postgame show here on yourliveevent.com. Treat yourself to a great career at American Crystal Sugar Company. Team up with quality people making quality products. Full time and year round in a stable business. With great pay and benefits including time off available from day one. American Crystal Sugar Company invests in you to promote your continued growth and career advancement. Grow your career doing your best work within the world's best beet sugar company. Apply online today at AmericanCrystalCareers.com. 
This is Bailey Scott, a senior at Fargo Davies High School and the 2022-23 North Dakota High School Activities Association Distinguished Student. Educational athletics, including games like this one, teach a lifetime value such as respect for your opponents, coaches, officials, and classmates. There are few better places than athletic competition to demonstrate respect for others. By your demonstration of respect for those participating and watching today, you underscore that the most important part of high school competition is the people involved and not the game itself. A public service message from the North Dakota High School Activities Association and this radio station. As we come back here in Hillsboro to our Halstead Telephone Company a post game connection here, brought to support by our friends at HTC, keeping you connected to Scuffer re local reliability you can trust at HalsteadTel.com. That again is HalsteadTel.com. Here's a look at the final line score in this one Thompson, five runs on eight hits, one air, and 12 runners left on base for Hillsboro Central Valley. The Burroughs with one run on three hits, three airs. And four runners left on base. Wolfgram picks up the win, going the complete game here. Gives up just three hits, the one run which was earned. Two walks, five strikeouts here, and seven innings of work for Wolfgram with the complete game. Well, for Belisles, he picks up the last game and goes three and a third with three hits, three runs. One was earned, six walks, and four strikeouts here in this one for the Hillsborough. Central Valley Burroughs. Now it's time to name your RDK Enterprises feature decision play of the contest. And that comes back in the second inning here. A really nice play by the second baseman in Chase Halfley, who made a diving spawn attempt in the short right field to take a hit away here from Sean O'Hearn in the second inning. That is our RDK Enterprises feature precision play and also web jam of the game, brought to you in part by RDK Enterprises with locations in Hillsborough and Drayton as you get ready for the spring upcoming planting season. Contact the planter experts at planterdoc.com or call 70 one six three six twenty one nineteen. 19 from there to our Enbridge Energy of the game and that goes to the guy who did the damage on the mound and picked up the win again Wolfgram with the complete game three hitter with five strikeouts two walks one run that was earned and he also at the plate here helped his own cause walk in the first hit a single in the fourth inning then had a single in the sixth as well here for the uh, Thompson Tommies. Brandon Wolfgram is our Enbridge Energy player of the game here in this one. Junior uh, pitcher here today for the Thompson Tommies. And again, he's our Enbridge Energy player of the game. Thompson now improves to 4-0 and on the season. Well, for Hillsborough Central Valley, the Burroughs drop 2-0-1. Oh, We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll hear from Wolf Graham here from the Thompson Tommies on our post-game report. Then we'll get you ready for what's coming up throughout the rest of the week here on your liveevent.com. Again, your final today in Hillsboro is the Thompson Tommies 5, Hillsboro Central Valley 1. Our post-game show brought to you in part by our friends with Halstead Telephone Connection is coming up next here on your live event. Thunder Seed has over four generations of experience in the field. Through innovation, technology, and hard work, we put farmers first by providing high quality products. We pride ourselves on developing quality soybean, corn, wheat, and corn silage seed for dealers and growers across our region. We are invested in being your partner throughout the full cycle of your harvest. Thunder Seed, first in the field, family owned, and farmers first. The City of Hillsboro welcomes you to town, conveniently located halfway between Fargo and Grand Forks. Shop for your personal items, farm and business supplies at our local stores. If you're looking for a new home or a working job, check out the opportunities in Hillsboro yeah. and see what the community can offer you and your family. The City of Hillsboro congratulates the area graduates go. on your achievements and they wish you all the best you in your be, future. They hope that uh, you'll carry pleasant that, memories yeah. of school days and graduation okay? time for the rest of Perfect. your life. Can Congratulations and best of luck uh, graduates from around, the city of Hillsboro. We'll see how it looks. If it's too tight, we'll just... Do you want that new boat? Are you building onto your home? Maybe you want the new camper or ATV? Dakota Heritage Bank can help you. This is Dustin Nagel, president um, at Dakota Heritage Bank Hillsboro location. You can visit with me or our other loan officers to help with just, loans just and lines of credit way. from Dakota Heritage Bank. We are serving you with locations in North Dakota and Northwest so Minnesota. We'll about Dakota here. Heritage Bank uh, Brandon, offers we'll financial be, you know, services you expect right there, with a local perspective. DHBankND.com. Dakota Heritage Bank, Equal Housing Lender, member of FDIC. Batson. 
finding ways to you know consistently my name is jared uh, born and raised in minnesota, minnesta, minnesta speak, and i'm the project the director at embridge embridge is more than pipeline company it's a company participating in renewable energy projects in minnesota and abroad and i'm really proud to be working here we believe a okay, back after this energy one. future is achievable. For over 20 years, and we've been early done, adopters of uh, renewable Brady, energy and, and we're and proudly to committed then, to uh, net zero we'll, emissions we'll by 2050. To, to hear more okay. from Jared, visit Embridge.com slash Jared. That's J-E-R-R-I-D. As we continue here on YourLiveEvent.com as part of our Halstead Telephone Company post-game connection again, our Embridge Energy player of the game, Braden Wolfgram with us here for the Thompson Tommies, picks up the win in a complete game fashion. Seven innings, three hits, one run across, two walks, and five strikeouts here uh, for, as Nate Solis likes to call you, Wolfie a little bit. So congratulations first and foremost on the win. Uh, what is it like to get a Region 2 win against the quality Hillsboro Central Valley, a borough team in a game that was supposed to be in Thompson? We had to switch it late. You're to Hillsboro, Braden. Yeah, it feels really good. Uh, just weird spring, obviously. You got to be able to adjust. We've been playing games everywhere, trying to get games everywhere that we can. And to come here, big region win, obviously against a really good team, just feels nice. And you mentioned about traveling. You went to Shiloh, you've gone to Crooks, and this is your shortest trek to Hillsboro so far. Uh, what's it been like from your point of view and the team's point of view in terms of you're never sure if you're going to get a practice outdoors in or or get a game? And what's this month of uh, April been like for you here, Braden? Definitely been crazy. You know, trying to get out in Shiloh was a challenge, but then we got it. Fun to get outside. We only had probably two practices before getting <laughs> out there. But you just got to adjust, you know, got a cage inside, obviously, trying to hit, try to take some live at-bats against other pitchers and just you got to be mentally prepared to play almost every single day now. And then all of a sudden you kind of take a look at what the rest of the schedule has to offer. Hopefully you get more games than not with, you know, the crazy to think the Region 2 tournament is less than a month away here in Mayville. But what would you like to see from, from your team today? I know you probably don't want to leave 12 runners on base all the time, but at the end of the day, Braden, that means you got runners on base via the walk. You you were putting pressure on uh, their three different pitchers. What did you like offensively from the plate from your team today? Just getting on base, getting on base in scrappy ways. I mean, you're not always going to get a hit in the gap, but you still got to get on base. And once we do, we'll continue to get better at, you know, hitting with runners in scoring position and run, hitting with runners on base. But right now, we just got to focus on getting on base first, and then that will come. Uh, just take us through your mindset. Second inning, it seemed like you really kind of got the ball, found a little bit of rhythm. Uh, what did you like from your point of view on the mound today to at least keep, you know, Hillsborough Central Valley off balance for most of the seven innings? Just guys making plays. You know, all you got to do is throw strikes. They'll put it in play as long as you trust your defense. And, I mean, we have minimal errors. We take pride in our defense and – Trust my catcher to call what he wants. I'll throw it most time. Sometimes <laughs> I'll shake him off, but just throwing strikes is the biggest part in high school baseball and trusting your defense to make plays. Brandon, thanks so much for your time, and uh, best of luck here coming up throughout the rest of the season. That again, Brandon Wolfgram with us here for the Thompson Tommies on yourliveevent.com as uh, they pick up the victory over the uh, Hillsboro Central Valley Burrows here on your live event. Thompson next game again scheduled for Thursday against Hatton Northwood and then Friday against uh, Monaga and Rozo at Monaga High School. Well, for the Hillsboro Central Valley Burrows, they drop to 0-1 on the season. Their next game is Thursday against Laramore, then on May the 2nd against the Maple River Raiders. So that is what's to come here for HCV. The Burrows with their alone run via the Cole Hebel solo home run. Uh, that was in the first scene, then just two other hits against Wolf Graham here today. A double by Fortman, then a single by a Duelum, and that was in the sixth and fifth innings respectively. Uh, well, for the Thompson Tommies, they were able to take advantage of a couple of errors earlier in the contest that came back in the set, uh, third inning to score a run, take advantage of an error to score two in the fourth, a sacrifice fly. Um, by Welke that plated Wolf Graham and then a single on the way by O'Hearn that plated Schumacher. That is their uh, five runs of baseball here today for the Thompson Tommies. On behalf of Joey Hughes, I'm Chase Miller. Thanks so much for tuning into high school baseball today where the Thompson Tommies improved a 4-0 on this season behind a complete game performance from Wolf Graham on the mound here for Thompson. HCV on their first game of the year drops to 0-1. We're back with more baseball and softball scheduled throughout later on the week. Go to your live event com again to check out our most up-to-date schedule. Again, on behalf of Joey Hughes, I'm Chase Miller. Thanks to Nate Solis for joining us in the pregame show and alongside for HCV's head coach Benjamin Strand. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday night.